all right hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you uh, please invite your friends and share with everybody so we can get more people to join us and to be part of our conversation um, someone of you sent me yesterday the debate between uh, David Wood and the Egyptian guy um, hijab now I always I say the Muslims they debate you they don't debate really you see uh, I don't know for how long it's going to take people to understand what I do Muslims they choose someone let us say you are a polite person you see you see when you say that to Muslims they say to me you are rude we don't debate you what they mean by that do you know what does that mean it's mean they will be humiliated if they debate me so what they do they choose someone he will not humiliate them so they invite a Christian person to a place where full of Muslims not to debate him it's just to make mockery of him call him names call him boy uh, we smash your boy uh, you we destroy your boy uh, you know all this kind of things but in fact this debate was a priceless regardless of what uh, David Wood said you know and this is not really my business I mean David Wood he you know he speak of himself what he said what he did not say uh, this guy he gave us amazing answers I'm talking about hijab to defeat Islam and actually right now uh, this is why a little bit I'm late uh, I'm working in more videos and actually already I posted two videos in YouTube I don't know if you guys you have it if you you watch it or not already I made two videos showing everybody how stupid this guy based on what he said he just you know two videos he proved that he is not a Muslim and he destroyed Islam the first thing the Muslims they do to you if you debate them and you are not a person who speak Arabic they say they didn't let me teach you Arabic I will give you a free lesson in Arabic <laughs> I wish he can call me and do that and by the way I posted in his page I said to if you are a man call me and you will see the Muslims are all over me they're like you know coward you don't show your face what do you want why you want to show my face he would go your brother he is in the stage not only he show his face he show his stupidity Your brother, he said, that for 4,000 years, not a single rabbi mentioned the Trinity. For 4,000 years, and he said, I wish I can play the video, by the way, but because they would flag my video. Anyway, they, I post them in Facebook. Please, if you have my Facebook, Christian Prince, the official one, go there, download the video, and share it to everybody you wish. He just admitted that the Quran is a false book he said if a Jew he been giving command to worship one God why the Jew will break the command of his God which means he's saying clearly the Jews will never do that and then he continues saying for 4,000 years not a single Jew mention other gods which mean Muhammad hijab he accused his prophet to be a liar because if we go in the Quran right now in the front of your eyes you will see the Quran saying that the Jews they worship men as gods this guy he just destroy his prophet because when you question why a Jew will do that and you are questioning who you are questioning the Christian so when you question the Christians about why a Jew will break the command of his God to worship his God alone which means you are siding with the idea that a Jew will never do that whoever says that is a liar this is why he destroyed his religion and soon after the Muslim watch my video they will stone him they will throw potato tomato at him how dare you, you idiot you say that the prophet was lying and the Jews never ever ever for 4,000 years 4,000 years which means since the Jews have books 
until now not a single rabbi you can go watch the video and laugh for yourself for 4,000 years guys is my voice coming good is my is my voice coming good mm -hmm. why the voice is not coming good I'm not sure So let me repeat again again for those who know my page in facebook all right you can go you know what let me let me open the page and pause the page uh, the facebook page for for you in case you don't have it give me a second i made the two videos both of them and more videos to come this guy he gave me priceless opportunity to destroy his cult his answers if he you know if uh, if i am if like uh, i should pay him for those answers this guy he said what should not be ever said this is how foolish he is he admitted willingly that his god and his religion is a stupid religion he confirmed to us that his prophet officially a liar let me uh let me post for you actually you know what i'm going to post the video the link for the videos in skype and sorry in uh, in facebook for you in the info of uh the video give me a second because i don't think facebook link will go inside youtube but we will try Anyway, when you click at that link, you can click at the, at the username Christian Prince, and then you will see I just posted already. You can refresh the page if you want. And now let us try to uh, to post in the chat. Let us see if it's going to work. And tell me if you can see the link. Is the link coming? Tell me no. Tell me please if the link is working. So this is the first video, and there is a second video. All right, I made two videos, and this is the other one. Here we go. I want the Muslims to be brave and to tell me, did this guy he just accused his God and his religion to be a false religion? Yes, he did. For 4,000 years. By the way, he is copying Didat. You remember before I told you that Didat, he said that too? This guy is not the debater. This guy is just collecting what people they say. He's reading articles, watching videos, and taking notes. And then he claimed that he's debating. And then he claimed that he speaks good Arabic. And then he claimed that he speaks good Hebrew. And then he said that Elijah means God is with us. You know what? Even a monkey will not say that. If we go in the Quran, chapter 9, verse number 30, when you say that uh, nowhere, no, no rabbi, nobody, 4,000 years, brother, and he was so excited, like 4,000 years, brother, 4,000 years. He, he reminded me once I was in the Philippines, and the guy, he came to me, I was in the bus, and he said, sir, I have to pay you back 40 pesos. I said, say it one more time and keep it. 4,000 years, brother. 4,000 years. And there is not a single rabbi spoke of it. So your Quran is a lie. 4,000 years. Chapter 9, verse number 30, Abdul, it says that the Christian, they worship Jesus as son of God and the Jews, they worship a man, his name is Uzair as the son of God. So why you are lying? Why you are lying or you are telling the truth? If you are telling the truth, that means your prophet is lying. Choose one. Which one is the one telling the truth? The Jews call Uzair the son of Allah. 4,000 years. You as a Muslim, you are saying not, not even a single Jew worship anyone beside God.
my Skype is not open. Wait, hold on. If you want to call, I don't want a Christian to call me, please. I want Muslims. No Christians, please. Customers come first. And the funny, the Muslim, they say coward. They say coward. Who is the coward? They in his page they told me uh, Muhammad Hijab he don't debate in the chat room. Who said this is the chat room? What a chat room? We are live on air. There are thousands of people they are watching and they want to watch. And this video will be seen. You are you did he said to to uh, to uh, uh, to David Wood today you destroyed your career, my friend. You destroyed your career and the career of your prophet. You just admitted that your prophet is a scam. I challenge this kid to call me right now and say. As long you get to the conclusion that for 4,000 years, not a single person, not a single Jew, not a single rabbi accepted any other God except Elohim, except Yahweh, except Jehovah. Then what your Quran is talking about? Stupidity these days is called intelligence. People, the Muslim, they were clapping for somebody insulting Islam and exposing Muhammad. Somebody he just admitted that the Quran is a book of fictions and lies. Four thousand years, not a single Jew worship a guy. His name is Uzair. This is what you said. Four thousand years, not a single Jew worship God beside his God Elohim. This is what you said. So you're a prophet and your Quran is a lie. Thank you for saying that. That is a priceless. I mean, what I need more, by the way, I'm making more videos because I'm telling you, this guy, his answers is a priceless. You will see the coming videos. You will die laughing. I wish I can play his audios in YouTube, but, but you know, they will flag me for copyright. You know them, right? Cowards. By the way, I don't flag Muslims for copying my videos. I like it. That's even for my best. Go and attack me as much as you wish. Because the first thing the Muslims, they do, they attack me and then they recognize that I'm telling the truth. I understand you attack me in the beginning, but you see, I am not like a hijab and Shabir Ali who say stupid things and later people discover it's stupid. Who is the Muslim want to call us? Who want to tell us what he think about hijab saying that 4,000 years, not a single rabbi worship somebody beside God? Do we have any brave Muslim? Any brave Muslim have the courage and the knowledge. I know that this hijab will never dare to call me. You see, I told you before that when you debate a Muslim who speak Arabic, the first thing he will say to you, you don't speak Arabic. Let me school you in Arabic. Let me show you another stupid poo, poo this guy he did, insulting his God and exposing his God. How many of you watch the debate, guys? How many of you watch it? When David Wood, he said, But Allah and the angels, they are praying on the prophet. This guy, he made a mockery of David Wood and he said to him, <laughs> I know this will happen. I know. And the Muslim like, hey, <laughs> yeah. David Wood don't speak Arabic, so we get our chance. So let us make fun of him. Abdul, you just destroy your God again. David Wood, he did not speak Arabic, but he did not do poo, -poo like you. You are the one who speak Arabic and you said and everybody heard you and the video is in your channel that you idiot. You said to, you guys, he said to David Wood, hey, let me school you in Arabic. <laughs> I know this is what happened. I know it. It's my time now. It's my moment. He doesn't speak Arabic. Not like Christian Prince. The verse you are reading, it doesn't say that Allah pray to the prophet. It says Allah pray for the prophet. What? The verse says, Allah pray for the prophet? <laughs> and supposedly now, you fix it? 
This is priceless answer. He just admitted that he's got to pray. When you say, <laughs> David, David, listen, David, you don't know what are you talking about? You don't speak Arabic, and the Muslim like so excited. Yes, brother, yes, it's your moment, brother. You don't speak Arabic. Listen, David. In Arabic, it is different. When you say in Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi, it does not mean that Allah he pray for the prophet, pray on the uh, 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 to the prophet. It's mean. It means he pray for the prophet. That is the most stupid, priceless answer to give us. For now, we got your God busted again. If Allah is God and he pray for the prophet, as you said in the video, and everybody can go and watch it. Allah, he pray to who? Allah pray to who? Any Abdul want to tell us? Allah, he pray to the prophet. Okay, I will go with you. Mr. Mr. Guys, this guy, hijab, he speak Arabic. Uh, we don't speak Arabic. We are Taliban. I am from the country of Zakir Naik. Actually, I think Zakir Naik is learning from him now. Zakir Naik, tomorrow he will come and we say, Brother Tittab, yesterday I wrote a debate between the brother Muhammad Idab. And Muhammad Idab, our brother, he gave a bright answer. He said, that Allah, he pray for the prophet. He don't pray on the prophet. And this is the proof that David Wood is ignorant. You donkey. What do you mean Allah, he pray for the prophet? Allah, he pray to who? If Allah is one and he is God, he pray to who? Do you Muslim believe in the father, the son? So maybe the son praying to the father or speaking to him? No. Do you believe in Allah, the Holy Spirit, that there is a the other divine? No. So Allah, he pray for the prophet, as you said. He pray to who? That is the proof of his stupidity. And all those Muslims watching, not, not even one of them, he, he, he noticed how stupid what this guy, he just said. This is a guy you brought to debate us? We should pay him. David Wood, he should write a check for him. This is a priceless answer. And then this Abdul. Brother, brother. A brother, brother, a brother, a brother. He said, you cannot be a square and circle in the same time. It's like saying X is a square and circle in the same time. I like that. I love it. You cannot what? You cannot be a square and circle in the same time. Who said that? Not Zakir Naik. No, a guy is higher, higher. He speak Arabic. This is Muhammad Hijab, brother. Look what this guy he did. This guy he do he do poo poo more than Muhammad. He did beat Muhammad. Muhammad he do poo poo, but slowly. This guy he have a diarrhea all the way. The second you say you cannot be a circle and a square in the same time, then you are saying to us that your prophet Muhammad is a liar again. Because if we go in the hadith, brother, it says. That Allah will come to them in a shape. The Prophet here talking about seeing Allah literally. If you go in the hadith, this is Sahih Bukhari. Some people said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, shall we see our Lord in the day of resurrection? He said, Do you uh, crowd and squeeze each other or looking in the sun? They say, No. He said, Okay, this is how you will see Allah. So this is about seeing Allah. And he is comparing Allah to the moon and to the sun, which means. He is comparing Allah to literally what is a physical object. So this is about seeing a physical object. And remember, the Muslim don't believe that Allah is a spirit, which is very, very funny because Allah is a physical being, but yet he has no spirit, which means he's dead. This is why we say dead body. What dead body is? Dead body is a body has no spirit. So Allah has no spirit, but yet he is a physical being. And the Muslim trying to prove to us that he's God. But now look what happened. This is Allah who is supposedly flying in the sky. He will come in the in the judgment day. Allah will come to them. 
in the shape other than the one they know and will say I'm your Lord I'm what I am your Lord Abdul somebody call Muhammad hijab and tell him why you are insulting the Prophet accusing him that he is a fool a liar and not logical because you said you cannot be X and then in the same time you are 100% square and 100% circle because that's what your prophet said look with me when Allah he come to them in a shape other than the one which they knew they will say he will say I am your Lord I am what I am your Lord the Muslim they will say we seek refuge with Allah from you what does that mean do you know when the Muslim they seek refuge they seek refuge when they see Satan if you don't believe me I can go right now in the front of your eyes to the Quran and we can see that together let us do it actually why we don't do it I mean why we don't do it isn't it this is how we do it hmm? why we not do it do it let us go to the Quran This is your Quran, Abdul. The Muslims, considering Allah is the devil, just because he changed his say his shape from circle to square. Let us see. My my uh, my page is froze. Let us try in the other one. Uh, let us see. Maybe now. Huh? Flipping. Okay. Hold on. Finally, Muhammad he confirmed that each time, every all all those verses in front of us, each time you see something is not right, something is not good, especially if it's shaitan. You say, "I seek refuge by Allah." Why the Muslim saying to Allah, we seek refuge by Allah from Allah? But that can happen. At that moment, the Muslim they saw Allah as a circle, or Allah as a square. <laughs> When Allah He came to them in the shape which they don't like, the Muslim right away they say, We seek refuge by Allah from thee. If we go right now and we search this in English, Just take the word refuge alone and we go and we search for the word we switched from Arabic to English choose any translation you wish when the Muslim use the word refuge they use it only to seek refuge against the devil So when the Muslims they say to Allah we seek refuge by Allah from thee obviously the Muslims they are saying to Allah you are the devil because this is what is the command of Allah when shaitan come to you seek refuge by me
it's all over the Quran. Do we have any Muslim to answer us? Why you Muslims you seek refuge against Allah from Allah by Allah? You seek refuge from the evil Allah to Allah. Why? Just because he changed his shape. So what is confirmed to us now based on Muhammad's story, not Muhammad Hijab, the kid, Muhammad the prophet, that Allah is one person according to Muslims. But yet, he is a transformer. Now here we have a problem with this issue. Either the Muslim, they accept that Allah he tra is a transformer, like the same we see in the cartoon. So he transform his, transform his look. And that means Allah is not eternal. Because that means his physical being is not fixed forever. It's a changeable. And that means Allah is a changeable, is not eternal. He changed. Or the Muslim, they have to tell us that Allah have a shape, but he can have another shape. Maybe he went to the mall and he bought a new shape. Maybe he ordered a new shape. Who is the Muslim when I tell me? Do we have now two Allah or one Allah? Do we have now one Allah and two shape or two Allah and two shape? Usually the Muslims they will say, "Oh no, hold on, Allah is one, but now He have two shape. What happened to the first shape? When Allah He changed His shape and He come to them in a shape the other than the one they knew, which means this is the second shape. This is shape number A. So sorry, B. The Muslim they will say to him, "We don't believe in you. You are the devil. This is why they say to him, we seek refuge with Allah from you.' And then Allah, He went to His closet." Or to his bedroom and he changed his shape who is the Muslim when explain to us what happened here exactly then Allah will come to them in a shape they know and they will say I am your Lord they will say the Abdul they will say oh, brother for sure you are our Lord okay hold on what happened this is the same Allah you cannot be square and you cannot be a circle in the same time. That's what he said. So now you Muslims accept Allah as a square or Allah as a circle. Do we have any Muslim here? He have the courage to give me a call. My Skype is open and we are live on air. Do this guy who claimed that he is debating and answering the Christians there to call me. Do you? You want to play the game that this uh, David, he don't speak Arabic? Play the game with me. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Well, if you don't talk, I'm going to hang up. Hello? All right. Do we have any Muslim to call? Please, if you are a Christian, don't call me. I want Muslims to call me. Who is the Muslim when I call me? How this idiot he said such a thing, proving to us that Muhammad is a liar and he is not a person who believe in monotheism of one being, because now we have two being. We have shape A and shape B. Yet they are, according to Muslims, one person. How you can be one person, but you are two being? And this is what this guy, he said in his debate. This is not my idea. I'm just saying to you what he said. You can go and watch it. You cannot be one and two in the same time.
Is Allah here one or two? Who is the Muslim? He want to give us a call. May they, may they. Muslim is needed. Can we have a Muslim? Can we have a Muslim? Who is a beautiful Muslim would like to come and debate us? Anyone? This is why, my friend, they fight over debating Americans. Because, number one, usually you don't really do any harm to Islam. You might say some statement here and there, but still you will be, you know, you will not be a big harm. They don't debate us for a reason. They knew they will be busted. Who is a proud Muslim? Want to explain to us how your brother, he insulted the Prophet in many ways. And actually, in every answer, he said he insulted Islam. <clears throat> Hello? Let me see. This guy is calling. Maybe he is a Muslim. <laughs> Answer, Abdul. You call me. Answer back. I'm calling you back. So what you call? What the crazy people? <laughs> who is a Muslim would like to call us and tell us how this happened anyone any Muslim Hmm. Hello. <clears throat> Are you there? I hear you in the background. Talk. You want to talk or no? Hello, hello. Hello, how are you, my friend? Alhamdulillah. That's wonderful. So you are a Muslim, my friend, right? Yes, yes. Hello. Okay, what do you think about what this guy he said, Mister? Uh, he said Which that uh, there's a guy. He is a he's a Muslim. His name is Muhammad Hijab. He said the Jews for four thousand years they did not worship anyone beside their God Elohim. Only one God they worship. What do you think? Do you agree with him? Of course, hmm. I agree. Okay, that's wonderful. So you agree. So now both of you are against the Prophet Muhammad because the Prophet Muhammad he said no. The Prophet Muhammad he said. That the Jews they worship a guy, his name is Uzair. What do you say? No. What do you mean? No, what do you where mean? Where is your source, brother? What do you mean? You, where is my source? Let me let me open the yes. source for you. Chapter 9, verse number 30. Yes, chapter 9, verse number 30. Uh, okay. Mm. It's in the screen. You can open your your your, your uh, Quran from your side if you wish. No problem. I'm very thankful, by the way, that the Muslim taking my side. Here we go. We got Muhammad Hijab. We get this Muslim gentleman with me on air. He is saying that the Prophet and the Quran they are lying. He agreed that the Jews for four thousand years never worship anyone beside God. We heard him. He just said that. Let us see what he will say after two seconds from now. After he read the verse in the Quran. Is he going to swallow his tongue and say, I did not say that? Or he will be consistent and he will say, I agree with you. They did not. And the Quran is lying. Let us see. Well, this is, you know, 
in the Quran, I do not disagree. You don't disagree, but a second ago you you, you agree with the with the you, you told me you agree with Muhammad Hijab who said that for four thousand years the Jews did not worship anyone beside God. Uh, for how long? Three thousand. Four thousand. Four thousand. Doesn't matter. Which means since they since the Jews have a book, since they have a prophet, yes, doesn't they... matter. Okay, so now you are the one who said you agree that the Jews never did that. And the Quran says no, they did. Now, why you Muslims accuse your prophet to be a liar? Because either you turn the truth and Muhammad Hijab, the Egyptian boy. No, no, no. You put him. What do you mean? No, no. You are the one who said that it's recorded. I ask you, do you agree with Muhammad Hijab when he said for four thousand years the Jews did not worship no, anyone no, I, besides I Allah? You said yes. He, I am a supporter of Muhammad Hijab. Okay, here we go. You have to support him then as long as you are a supporter. He said that. Thank you very oh, much, guys. This guy, hear. this you, guy is a supporter of Muhammad Hijab. That's wonderful. Give me five, brother. Give me five. You are a supporter. So now we have a supporter. Your boss cannot call us. He don't dare. So now you are calling us be in his behalf, and you agree with him blindly. So either now you say that Muhammad Hijab he said something stupid by accusing the Prophet to be a liar, or you admit. That you agree with him, as you said before. Why are you putting words in my Muhammad friend? Hijab? What putting words? Putting no, words the video is mouth. there. The video is there. You can go and watch it. The video is there. Don't tell me I'm putting words. It's in the debate. He have it yesterday. Okay, I have to sit first. I make no judgment first. What do you mean, sit? Are you standing now? Sit down. No, I'm lying down. Okay, that's wonderful. This is why you are speaking smart. So now, how you agree with him blindly a second ago? How come a second ago no, you said no, I agree with I him? I say I support. I understand you said you support. I get that. I get that. You support him blindly, whatever he say. Great. But the second okay. I showed you, the second I showed you, the reference in front of your eyes, now you are denying Muhammad Hijab. Suddenly you don't support him. Do you support him or not? Of course. Okay. So Muhammad Hijab he yeah, said one. Muhammad Hijab said clearly that not a single Jew for four thousand years he took God beside his God, one God only they worship. What do you uh -huh. say to Muhammad Hijab now? Are you willing to say to him, brother, you are being stupid? I will contact him. Don't worry. What you will do? I, what, what, will you, what, what you will, tell me what you will say to him. No, no, brother. I should, on, honest to God, it's in front of us. I wish I can play the video for you, but be, they, they will they will flag my video we for copyright. My friend, brother, I am not assuming. Okay, let me let, let, let us do this. Can you do me a favor and you play the video and you listen to it and come back? Uh, how long is the video? If you go to the uh, to the hour. <laughs> All what you need is to just to what three minutes. If you go to the hour like two point uh, three minutes and after, like for five minutes, watch it. You will see he's saying that not a single Jew, not a single Jew, not a single rabbi for four thousand years. It doesn't take you even three minutes. So, my friend, if this is what Muhammad Hijab he said, and I'm not lying, people they are recording my voice, people they will get me busted, they will say that not say that it's there. If this is what Muhammad Hijab he said, what you say to Muhammad Hijab, which you support, are you willing to say to him, shame on you for insulting the Prophet and the Quran, for accusing the Quran that not a single Jew did worship anyone beside God, which is against the teaching of Islam? Are you willing to say that to him? Mm, I have to see first. No, no, I'm sorry. I cannot. What do you mean you have I to say you, first? My friend, you can play the video when you are listening to me. I'm not going to play yeah, it for my... Listen, me. listen, don't waste my time. You can play the video right now. Don't hang up. You can play the video right now. Put, put the headset in your in your head. Move the move the debate of yesterday to the okay, hour. And what's the problem? If you say that, what's, what's your... What's the problem, problem? guys? He didn't, he didn't understand what the problem. You are the one who just said in the beginning you agree with him and now you don't agree with him. So why you don't agree with him if there's no problem? Why you said now you don't agree with him if this is what he said? If there's no problem, why well, you change your mind? In the beginning, you said you agree with him. No, now I you ask you what is the problem, the problem is that the Quran says the Jews they worship men, they worship a guy, his name is Uzair. The guy that you you your your guy, your Muhammad Hijab, he said for four thousand years the Jews never broke the command of God and they worship God alone. 
So the Quran is lying. Is it is referring to you know different Jew? There's some what different Jew, Jew my know, friend. He said not a sick, no, 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 my friend. He said for four thousand real, not one rabbi. What's what different Jew? Jew are Jews, and the Quran does 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 not speak of different Jews. The Quran speak the Jews. You see the verse it says the Jews call Uzair the son of Allah the Jews. Which means when you say the Jews, it's mean whoever called is a Jew. You don't say if he say a sect of the Jew, then we say he said a sect of the Jew. He did not say that. He said the Jews. So now, what do you say to Muhammad Hijab? Be honest with me. I will speak to him. Don't worry. I have. Okay, his you, will you will speak to him. You will speak to him. What you what you will do? Be honest with me. What you will do exactly? If if this is what he said. Bring this forward with no, him. No, no. Let me ask you. Let me. Ask, I'm asking you. I'm having a conversation. What you will what you will say to him if this is what he said? Okay, I will show him. I will show him this. Are verse you going to his... ask him to apologize for being stupid, or you will accuse him to be a false Muslim? What you would do? I make no accusation. What do you mean? In, what do you mean? No, make. I'm not assuming anything. I'm not assuming the video is there. His voice is there. It's still there. He's a proud about the debate. Go watch it. I told you what, what minute you can see it. Don't tell me. I'm not assuming. He said that it's recorded. Don't tell me I am assuming. Assuming what? Not you know, what a slip of a tongue. This guy is having a debate, my friend. He is the one. He is answering the guy. This is not a slip of a tongue. A slip of a tongue. Like sometimes I want to say night, I say day. This is a slip of a tongue. This guy, he wrote it in the front of him. Now he is making a rebel for the, for, for the guy. His name is David Wood. So he said for 4,000 years, and he repeated that twice. And he was shaking his hands and shaking his head and so excited for 4,000 years, not a single rabbi. How that can be a slip of a tongue? Hmm. Hmm. I will, I like I said before, I will uh -huh. forward. Him. Okay, but now, but so, so what do you mean, like I said before? Why you don't be honest right now and tell me? Okay, let, let me ask you, let me ask you, let me ask you, let me ask you, if this is what he said. Let us assume this is what he said. If not, you can call me back and spit in my face. Is that fair, guy? Is that fair? My voice is recorded. You can copy my voice and you can make a video of it, expose me, get me busted, let everybody laugh at me. I'm not lying. This is what he said. It's the video is there. I'm saying to you now, if this is really what he said, what is your opinion of such a person? He accused the Quran to be a fabricated book and which means accusing Muhammad is a false prophet. What do you say to him? Why you you say you put all these different words in mouth? You make assumption. What he do you make assumption, my friend? What make assumption? I'm asking you. What do you say? If, if a Muslim, if a if a Muslim, you are supporting this. The problem we have a problem. You said you are a fan of him, right? Of course. Okay, wonderful. That's that's mean. You support whatever he's saying. That's mean you are supporting what he said that the Quran is a lie. When you say there's no Jew, not a single rabbi for 4,000 years, break the command. And he said, and why why a Jew who was instructed to obey the command, he will break the command, which means he don't believe any Jew would, would do that. He is a question in the Christians, why you believe in the Trinity? Why you believe that God is more than one person? This is the whole point. And there is not a single Jew for 4,000 years. He it did is that. not related. What do you mean not the related? Word. What do you mean not related? The Quran says here the Jews, my friend, the Jews, not only the Jews worship a guy, his name is Uzair, the Jews, they worship even their rabbis and their priests as God. Do you want to show it to you? So you agree. So this is your trinity. You agree. My friend, this is not my trinity. Uzair. Only people only people will believe that this is my, my, my trinity. I'm not talking about my trinity. I'm talking about the Jews. They worship their rabbi. Abdul, wake up. Stop drinking camel urine. Where, no, no. where I am you saying, say where I Jew, say this is my trinity. I said, I said, Jew, your boy, Jew. I said, your boy, he believed that the Jews, they never, never, ever practice such a thing. Not a single rabbi broke the command of Allah for 4,000 years, according to him. They worship okay. only one God. Okay. They don't believe don't in worry, worshiping anyone. I will one. forward this now. What is this for trinity? Why, why is this for trinity and Tawheed? There, there's nothing called Tawheed. Okay, show me the word Tawheed in the Quran. Where I can find Tawheed in the Quran? Do you know what verse? I show you Google. Where? I want to see the word Tawheed. Where is the word Tawheed? What Tawheed mean? Do you know what Tawheed mean? Yes. What, what Tawheed mean? 
Wait. Uh, maybe you don't speak Arabic like like brother David Wood. <laughs> Do you speak Arabic? Look this. Look, look, look what? Surah two, three. Oh. You see. Surah two what? Wait. <laughs> the one who's calling me. Stop calling. Wait until we finish. We have a Muslim here. You can call me after I finish. Don't you? Are you listening? We have a guy with us on the line. Let us finish with him, and you can can call me. Go ahead, my friend. What chapter? Speaking about Tawheed. I want to hear it. It is. Mm -hmm. Surah fifty-three. Wait. Waiting. Is it hard to find where is the word of hate in the Quran? I think it's hard. As I know, it never exists in the Quran. I never saw anywhere in the Quran it says that word. I want to learn something from you today. Where in the Quran Look, says to this surah al ikhlas. Al ikhlas? The, 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 the ikhlas says to It doesn't say that. It says, Al ikhlas, it says, And that proved that Islam cannot be a religion of monotheism. Why? Because if you Muslims you believe that Allah is Ahad, that means he is one off. In Arabic, the word Ahad does not mean one. You see, just to get the Abdul busted, not you, I feel sorry for you. If we go in the Quran and we type the word Ahad, the word Ahad appear in the Quran in many, many oh, places. No, My friend, will, hold on. I will this is not for me. I will show it. What the Muhammad Jab. He will, he's gonna smash you, okay, brother. Why you don't ask him to call me right now so he can smash me? Can he you do me a favor? You, why he's not calling me? Why he is letting a kid like you to call me, but you have no answer? What I know, not you would you know? He not told me, no, he don't dare, he don't dare to get close to me. What he have no time for me. People are leaving Islam because of me. There's thousands and thousands of Muslims leaving Islam by me. Every day, I receive phone calls from Muslims leaving Islam. Okay. So why you Muslims don't want to get me busted? You don't even have hundred uh, stream view. What hundred stream? Right now I have five hundred people watching me live. What's your problem? So how are you you're a prophet. You're a prophet for thirteen years. You're a prophet for thirteen years. He got only seventy-two. Half of them are donkeys and women. Seventy-two people. Thirteen years. I have right now 500 people listen to me. What's your problem? Huh? huh? I will show you. Show me what? What do you want to show me now? What do you mean you want to show me now? Show me now. Where in the Quran it says Tawheed? The word Ahad does not mean Tawheed. Here we go. All the verses in the Quran in front of us. Chapter 2, verse 136. The word Ahad mean one off. We don't differentiate between any Ahad, Ahad of the Prophet. The second you say I had you just confirm that he is one off, not one. I boy gonna smash you, okay? Yeah, I'm waiting for it, brother. I bought a lot of glue. Why you don't smash me too now? Why you don't take why, why you why you don't take a hit? Yeah. What? What what? What alhamdulillah mean? What what alhamdulillah mean? You said alhamdulillah. What alhamdulillah mean? He hang up. Guys, one of the stupid things of the Quran that Allah He say Alhamdulillah. How Allah is God and He say thanks to Allah. If Allah is Allah, how He say Alhamdulillah? Have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than this? Allah is talking, He says, in the name of Allah, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. <laughs> and by the way. The Muslims even they fabricate Arabic just to fix the sound of the Quran because the sound of the Quran is ugly. So what they did, they took letters off from the word bism. Here, the real the real word is bism, not bism. So instead, 
of leaving it as it is, as Allah He said it supposedly, as Muhammad He said it, the Muslim they decide to take off this letter off because it's ugly. Basim, it's like squeezing yourself in the bathroom. Basim. So now the Muslims, in order to sing it, they say, Bismillah. So a lot nicer, man. A lot nicer. Let's let us fix the language of Allah. Allah is a Taliban guy. He do not know Arabic. He is using bism, but we should fix it and make it bism. Then, when Allah He say Bismillah, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Hmm? How Allah can be Allah yet He say in the name of Allah? This is the word of who? Who is talking here? Praise be to Allah. Hello, my friend. You are live on air. Who is with me? Hello? Hello? Yes, we hear you. Everybody hear you. Go ahead. Hello? We hear you, my friend. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us, Mr. Muslim? Mr. Muslim. Are you Islamophobic. Islamophobic? What does that mean? Explain to me. What Islamophobic mean? Explain to me. What phobic mean? Phobic. What phobic mean? Hate mean, hate. mean hate? Okay. So now we have to go to chapter 5, verse 14 in the Quran. Look like your God. Allah have a phobic too. Because the Quran says that the Christians, Allah, He supplied them with hate. No, 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 no. Don't, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. You are the one who said phobic is hate, right? Everybody heard you saying that. Allah, he said in the Quran, I supply the Christians with hate and enmity until the judgment day. So you're admitting now that your God, Allah, is a phobic God. Now explain to me why you just say, why you just said that about Allah. Shame on you. You don't respect Allah. You are a bad Muslim, brother. Hey, brother, you are a bad Muslim. Read with me carefully. Oh, people of the book, there has come to you, your messenger revealing to you. Why you hang up? Hey, brother, why you, are you there? Yeah. Don't hang up, brother. Brother, please don't hang up, please. A, a brother, a brother, don't hang up. So we string them with hatred and enmity. How Allah He say that He string the Christians with hatred and enmity? Yet you are accusing me that I have hate. The hate is coming from Allah. What you will do now? Are you there? The Quran confirmed that Allah is the hate vendor. Did you hang up? Do you hear me, Abdul? Yeah, I can hear you. Why did you hang up? I did not hang up. I think it's your wife. Maybe she's step one of your wife. She's tapping the keyboard. My friend, how you accuse Allah? How you accuse Allah to be a phobia? How you accuse Allah that he is Islamophobic? Your God, Allah. My friend, my friend, you are the one who said you are the, the, the my friend, my friend. You, let us see who's the liar. Don't call names. Don't call names. I want you to. I don't. I want you to stay with me. The, the verse in the Quran in front of you. It says that Allah, He will be the vendor of hate for the Christians. So we Christians, in order to get, my my friend, don't say kadhab. You do not know what kadhab means. Do you know what kadhab means? Yes, liar. Liar. Okay. So thank you very much, guys. He just said Christian prince is a liar. Okay. What if I show you that the Quran says a Christian prince is telling the truth? Do you, said, said do, do you no no do you challenge me? Do you challenge me that the Quran saying that the Christian prince is saying the truth? Oh, what did I say to you now? Yeah, because that I'm talking generally. My friend, we don't talk, we don't tell me generally, I'm talking generally too. Do you do you believe? Do you believe really that the Quran is telling the truth? The Quran says the Christian is the one who tell the truth. Listen, listen, listen. Let's get back to you. Why you change the topic? You keep jumping from the topic to talking to the monkey. In the beginning, you start talking about phobia. Now you are talking about liars. And each time I, I, I go with you in the topic you wish, you jump to different topics. So what the topic you want? Tell me what. Tell me what the topic you want us to talk about. And please, I promise me, you will not jump like a monkey from a place to place. What the topic you like to talk about? My friend, respect monkeys, by the way. I can show you I can show you the hadith. I can show you where the hadith that the monkeys are Muslims and they practice Sharia law. I can show you in the Bible as My friend, what is your question? Why you call me? Okay. Why you basically, right now you ask another brother, where is the Tawheed in the Quran? There is no Tawheed in the Quran. What is the word Tawheed in the Quran? Where? Where? If Allah, he say, if, if Allah, if Allah, he say, my friend, my friend, if Allah, he say, in, speak for 20 seconds. We are talking at the same time, no problem. If Allah He say Bismillahir Rahman Rahim, who is the one saying in the name of Allah? 
Can you, can you just let me speak? Um, uh, you are talking. I'm, I'm asking you. Who is the one saying in the name of Allah? Basically, when I speak, you're going to speak. Not My friend, no, no, we are not speaking the same. No, I'm, uh, we, this is a crossfire debate. You need to answer me. Who is? Basically, if I'm speaking, then you're speaking. What is this? I'm basically telling you the Tawheed is not in the Quran, but the concept of Tawheed in the Quran. On the other hand, the Trinity is not in the Bible, or the concept of the Trinity is not in the Bible. My friend, my friend. Even oh, no, the, the, even, don't jump, don't jump. Uh, uh, I cannot clear your voice. Guys, you don't hear us good? Those guys, they are saying they cannot hear us. Hold on. You cannot hear the Abdul? You cannot hear the Abdul? He's low. I don't know why. Hold on. Let me see if I can fix that. Call me back, Abdul. Call me back. I like you. Okay. What about the previous caller? You heard his voice? Or only this guy? Okay. Well, I made it all the way to the end now. I don't know why it's not coming to you from your side. Let me be sure that Jack is hooked up very well. I don't know. But my voice is coming good, right? All right. Guys. Here we go. So. You said you said that Tawheed is in the Quran, right? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum my friend. By the way, the word Assalamu alaikum is coming from where? Okay, please. That's what you see. You always was called digressing. Every time you say something, then we're gonna move. That's that's why you're you're jumping topics. I'm not changing topic. Okay, what the topic you want to talk about? Tell me what the topic. What do you want? Okay, let's talk about you asked the brother where is Tawheed. You basically know the Tawheed, the word Tawheed is not in the Quran, but the concept of Tawheed is in the Quran. But let's talk about Tawheed and Trinity. Okay, okay? But, well, my friend, hold on. What Tawheed mean in the Quran? No, the concept of Tawheed is the oneness of the Creator. Okay, the oneness of the Creator. But the Quran says, guys, did he say the oneness of the Creator? That's like, Allah, 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 Allah. My friend, hold on, hold on, hold on. One by one, one by one, one by one, one by one. No, it's not fair, it's not fair, it's not fair. One by one, one by one. You said the oneness of the Creator. Let us see and let us put that into examination. If the oh, if the creator okay. is one, is, if the creator is one, then how the Quran says that Allah is the best of the creators? Yeah, yeah. You are the one who said the oneness of the creator, guys. Did he say that? I so how this. the Quran confirm that there is many creators and he is the best of them? No, 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 no. He doesn't say that. So what, 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 let me finish this first. Before before we get there, before we get there, before no, we get no, there. No, 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 no. Ahad. Allah who summoned them my friend, we will go to that one. We will, we will go. We will go. This is only the, the concept of Tawheed is throughout the whole Quran, but you don't find the Trinity anywhere. Abdul, 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 read with me carefully. Abdul, chapter, Abdul, chapter 23, verse number 14, it says, فَتَبَارَكَ اللَّهُ أَحْسَنُ الْخَالِقِينَ You are the one who said that the, the, uh, the, 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 the essence of Tawheed that there is one creator, but the Quran confirmed that there's many creators and Allah is the best. So you are accusing Allah to be a stupid and to be a liar and the Quran to be a fabrication. Oh, I'm, I'm accusing, I'm accusing, I'm accusing your God to be stupid and my a liar friend, and a condemn. My friend, you have to answer. You are the one who said the oneness of the creator. So how the Quran yeah, says okay. Allah is the best of the creators? Can you, okay, can you just stop for like five seconds? Stop and use an Ex hominum. Explain to us how, not, he, is, how he is the, the he, how he is the only creator yet he is the best of the creators. Please answer. Okay, I will explain. Before I explain, let me let me just what's the call show you the concept of the tawhid you knew the brother you asked a stupid question can you show me the word trinity in the bible now my friend show me the don't trinity? change the topic no no no, no we no, will no, show no. you we will no. show you we will show you we will show, show you now. don't jump like show a monkey no, how no, no, you no, say how you say no, abdul no. how you say that the concept of tawhid that there is only one creator yet your god said he is the best of the creators are allah what lying? Is, okay are let you, me ask you this question are you saying what don't this, ask me question by a, don't ask a question for a question you you said already your mind you said the concept of tawheed is there's one creator so how allah, allah he say allah is the best of the creator are you are you saying that allah is lying about him being the best of the creators but yet there's no creators except him are you saying okay, can you give me, give, are, give me the, uh, are you saying he's lying give me the chapter please what chapter? You want chapter? The one that you said. 
Uh, you want chapter, chapter, 30, chapter 37, verse 125. 125, okay. Mm -hmm. Give me two seconds. I'm on my phone. I'm speaking to you through my phone. Innit? So, chapter, and uh, one number? Chapter, let me say it slowly. Chapter 37, verse 125. <laughs> Okay, read it. I just did. Atadruna, down, Atadruna, Balan, what down? Mm hmm. Yeah, what is the rule? Asin al Khalakin. Okay, Al Khalakin. You speak Arabic, that's wonderful. Al Khalakin, creators. So, how he, is, how he is the only creator, but he said he is the best of the creators. No, he didn't say, oh, Allah, la ilaha illallah. You're the biggest kadhab I've seen in my life. Do this in front of us. Everybody is going to read it. This is your Muslim translation. Seriously? This is your oh, Muslim translation. I'm, I'm showing in the screen your Muslim translation. Who is the kadhab? You're the kadhab. Okay, you, it says he is the best of the creators. He is the best of the creators. You said that. No, no, no. Read the context. The context is, atad'oona ba'lan. Yes. Do you call up? Listen, atad'oona ba'lan. Do you call upon ba'al? Uh -huh. Ba'al. Uh -huh. And least best of creators. Okay, so basically, so, he's, trying to, so say, he's Allah, trying to say to people, no, 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 you're a kadab. Let me finish. He's basically telling the people, why are you calling Baal and leaving the best of creators? The creator basically saying, he's the best, your creation. The people, are you telling me people cannot create idols and worship it and call it God? Friend, are you telling me people can't do that? Friend, no, no, no. Did, did he say, did he say he is the best of the creators? Yes or no? Read the context. I am reading the context. Did he say he is the best of the creators? It's very clear. See, are you going see. to are you going to watch to, to call for Baal, but yet Allah is the best of the creators? So do you agree? Please. How you Allah, other, how Allah is the best of the creators, yet there's no other creators? Are you saying that Allah is exaggerating and lying and claiming that there's many creators, yet he's the only one? No, you do. You how you say like, how oh, you oh, say oh, I oh. am the best of the student when you are the only student in the school? There is, bro. Listen, let me, let's break you up. Let's so break why you up. Allah saying the best of the creators? If there's no other creators, why He did not say I am the best? I am the creator. Why He did not say I am just the creator? Why He said I'm the best of the creators? Listen, listen, listen. Can I? Can you let me speak for twenty seconds? Count twenty seconds. Sure. Okay. I, will, I will give you twenty minutes. Go ahead. I'm sleeping. Taking a nap. Explain okay, to okay, us okay. how Allah became the best of the creators. Go ahead. Allah does say throughout the whole Bible He is the only creator. But in this instance, He's talking. He's talking to a certain people. He says, "Atadruna ba'lan." Do you call upon Baal mm. and leave the best of creators? He's telling the people basically emphasizing the fact that people used to make their own creation. People have the people have the authority. Allah gave them free will. So people used to create their own idols and worship it like a creation. That's what I'm trying to tell you. My friend, my friend, basically, my friend, let me show you, no, no, let no, me show you how stupid what you said with my respect to you. Your God, Allah, He define what is a creation. Obviously, you do not know the Quran and you are not a Muslim. You are just a Somalian boy who ate too much zucchini and came to me. Listen to me. Let me show you. 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 Let me get you busted. Stop talking. Stop talking, Abdul. Your God, Allah, He spoke about creation. He said they cannot even create a fly. So, in order, Abdul, shut up. In order to be God, your God saying in chapter 22, verse number 73, how you worship, how you can worship somebody, he can't even create a fly. So in order to be worshipped, you have to be creating a fly. Do you agree with that? Say it, say it again, say it again. Chapter 20, 22, verse number 73, Allah said, how you worship somebody, he can't even create a fly. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So if somebody can create a fly, he can be worshipped. Do you agree? No one create a fly. Can you create a fly? I'm asking you. Answer the question directly. If somebody can create a fly, do you worship him? Yes or no? Uh, no. What do you mean no? So why Allah saying how you can worship somebody can't even create a fly? I can't hear you properly. Speak. Say that again. Are you afraid that there's somebody else he created flies too beside Allah? Why you don't say yes? Allah only the only one who created flies. Yeah, you're breaking up. Speak louder. I'm not. I'm not breaking up. It's you. You broke your no, toes. Listen. If somebody, no, if Allah is saying, if Allah put the conditions, Allah put the condition, who is to worship? He said, don't worship somebody, he cannot even create a fly. So if he can create yes. a fly, we worship him. Do you agree with that? Yes or no? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay with that, yeah. Okay. Guys, did the Quran say that Jesus, he created from the mother bird? With the permission of who? It doesn't matter. 
It doesn't matter. Uh, you're One mission, my friend. Oh, 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 by, 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 in the Quran said, the Quran said, I create for you. I create for you. What permission? What permission? This is your claim. You claim by permission. I drive my car, my dad car by his permission or not. It doesn't make it any different. I can still drive it. Because I am able oh, to drive it. If oh, I give you permission, wait, my friend, are, like you, are you saying are you saying that Allah He is sharing He is sharing His ability by permission to, be, to have more creation? Are you saying you that Allah, Abdul, 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 you got must no, 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 no. you just admitted you just admitted you just admitted Abdul that Allah and Jesus both are a creator. Both That's are a creator. And what is the point? Why why Jesus can create from the mud the bird by His permission? Why he can do that? Why Jesus can create from the mother bird by permission of Allah? What happened? Allah, he gave him the power. So now Jesus have the power of a creation, right? Okay, you're just going to speak over me. He's not going to be fruitful. I so want an answer. Fruit. Are you saying that Allah gave the ability and the power to Jesus to create from the mud a bird? Yes or no? Yeah, yes. Okay, so now, so now we have two creators. We have Allah and we have Jesus. Thank you very much. Because you just said you just said that Allah He gave him the power to be creator. So now you admitted that he's a creator. So why you are upset about Allah saying he is the best of the creators? I ask you, what is the essence yes. of Tawheed? You said to worship one creator. Now you admitted that Allah Himself He gave the ability to be creator to Jesus. So now we have an admission from you saying that Jesus and Allah both are a creator. How you answer that? Go ahead. And according to the Bible and the Quran. Both Allah, both the Creator in your Bible and the Creator in the Quran, both give permission to create other things Not, inside the Bible. That's a lie, my friend. That's a lie. There's nowhere in the Bible it says anyone can create anything. Okay, I'll show you. I'll show you. Uh, show me. Go ahead. I'm, I'm listening. I will give you ten thousand years. You can use a prophet Google peace upon him. You can use a prophet Yahoo peace upon him. You can use any anyone you want. Show me. Don't where say peace be upon him. That's 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 not that's an Islamic tradition. Don't say that. Peace upon him. You're this is Islamic tradition. You're a Christian. Okay. What, can, a Christian. can you show me? Can you show me where this is coming from? You are a liar. Christian. This is not Islamic religion. E even the Badl. word Assalamu alaikum is not Islamic. You liar. When Muhammad, when Muhammad he said when the angel came to him, he squeezed him. But the Bible says when the angel came to Mary, he said to him, Assalamu alaikum, Mary. Shalom alaikum, you liar. Yes, shalom alaikum. This is what your prophet he stole, and he claimed that this is for him. But where, where the angel said to Muhammad, Shalom alaikum, Muhammad. Can you show me? See, yeah, 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 show me, show me. No, show me where, where the angel went. Where the angel? You are the being, you are being stupid. I can show you from the Bible where, where the angel, the angel, the angel. He said to me, Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. Why you are changing the topic? Jesus is the creator, as you said. You just admit it. You can said you the speak? essence of Tawheed. The essence of Tawheed is creator to worship one creator. And you admitted that Allah, He have many creators. Go ahead. I right, listen, brother. What I'm trying to tell you is Allah gave Jesus the miracle of creating stuff to show the people of Bani Israel mm. the, the miracle of this so they can was follow the Prophet mm -hmm. Isa, peace be upon him. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. It was with the permission of Allah Doesn't that matter. Jesus. Okay, you 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 are repeating the same thing. I just no, 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 I just no, 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 no. I ask you, I ask you, do you agree? Do you agree that Allah He gave hold on? Why you are repeating the same thing? Why you are repeating are you are you a pregnant woman in the delivery room? Are you a are you a pregnant woman in the delivery room? You are going to give me a birth right now. Listen, listen to me. You you I said to you. Are you saying that Allah? Are you saying that Allah gave the permission to Jesus to be creator? You said yes. I said to you, did Allah gave the ability of a creation to Jesus? You said yes. So, so now you admitting that Allah and Jesus both they have the ability. If He gave him the ability or not, will not change the fact that He have the ability. So now we have. Two individual, two individual. They are two persons. They are not one person. One, his name is Allah, and one, his name is Jesus. Both of them, they can create. How you explain such a disaster? My friend, Tahuka, Somalian boy, you don't even speak good Arabic. Answer me. How Allah He gave, how Allah gave the ability to Jesus to be creating the creation. Now we have two creators. Let me finish. Let me finish. So basically, what I said to you is uh, Jesus, Isa. I mean, what might even say Jesus? Isa cannot create anything without the permission. Where of Allah. says that? Where he, says that? Where says that? Where says that? Where says that? Where says that? Where? Let me. Let me. Where? Let me it's, no, no, no. Show me where it says that. 
What it says, where it says that no show me i want to i want to learn from you where it says that jesus cannot do anything without permission of allah and he cannot create he created with the permission of allah let me okay well, hold on well, hold on you just said by permission of allah he created not right okay okay we did that we, why are you repeating again why are you repeating you said there's no, no the quran says he cannot create without permission of allah my, my friend abdul 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 you see you are running away from answering each time you say something i, I hold you from your tail and you try to run away now I want you to show me where in the Quran it says that Jesus cannot create anything without permission of Allah. I want to see that. Say it again. Where in the Quran it says that Jesus cannot create anything without the permission of Allah. Jesus cannot. I said when, when Jesus created it was the permission with Allah. It doesn't matter. Okay, let us say let, for the sake of argument. Listen to me carefully, please. Let us say okay. I am a Christian prince. Your God Allah, He gave me permission to create anything. Okay, thank you very much, Allah. You gave me that, but now I became a creator. The second you gave me the ability to create, I became a creator, and you are the one who said to me, "Hold on, hold on," and you are the one who said to me, "You are the one who said," oh, you are the one who said to me, "You are the one who said to me that we believe in tawhid. You will believe in tawhid because there is only one creator. You just admit it now that we have two creators. You you said to me that Jesus get get the permission. Who care, guys, 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 guys? Shut up, shut up, shut up, Abdul. I like you, I like you. I'm going to hire you. I'm going to pay you. I'm going to pay you to call me every day. You are funny. You are funny, brother, 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 sister. No, you don't. This is the priceless guy. Jesus, he got a license from Allah to create. Did you hear him? Allah, He gave license to Jesus to create. Allah, He said license out. He gave the, He gave him the ability. Yeah, this, Thank you very speak, much. He, this is this is mean that Jesus now He have the ability to create. Who care now how He get it? He but He got it. So now Jesus can create. Allah can create. So now we have two creators. And this is what the Quran says in chapter twenty three, verse number fourteen, and in chapter thirty seven, verse number twenty five. Allah saying He is the best of the creators. So maybe Allah He saying, is Jesus He create, but I can do it better. What do you say? Speak? I'm trying to tell you. Sure. We'll say it again. Go the ahead. questions are invalid. You know what you do? You use trauma arguments and you try to make me think the way you're thinking. Well, I'm trying to tell you, Allah gave him the permission to create. That is in the Bible and in the Quran. Jesus cannot create Abdul, anything. Abdul, 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 Abdul. Are, 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 are you listening? Are you listening? Are you, are you listening? Are you listening, Abdul? You, you, you repeat the same thing again. Okay, Allah gave yes, Jesus the permission. Hold on, the hold on. Don't be stupid. I got you. I got you guys. Allah gave a license to Jesus to be create to be creator. You see, there's Honda. They open a branch in Michigan. So now Honda have a branch in Michigan. By Michigan in America, they can make Honda. So Honda gave a license. That's wonderful. So now Allah gave license to Jesus to be creator. But that means that Jesus now is a creator. So now we have two creators. Did Jesus ever create human beings? He created bird. It's the same. It's a flesh no, and blood. It's, it's a it's flesh and blood. Abdul, is it your Quran says how you worship somebody cannot create a fly? And you are the one who said to me, yes, I agree that if somebody can create a fly, I worship him. That's generalizing. That's generalizing. Generalizing. That's Thank you very that's, much, that's guys. Generalizing. Me. So creating a fly for you is a reason to worship a person, but to creating a big bird, not a fly, is not enough to to worship. You don't let me speak in it. Abdul, you, like Abdul, you are being hypocrite, Abdul. How you agree that if somebody worship a fly, so are you saying to me, because Jesus did not create a fly, you will not worship him. But if you create a fly, you will worship him. <laughs> Allah is the best that the creators of brothers. But you know, this is the cheating. I, you know, imagine you go back home and you say to your to your parents, I am the best student in the classroom. And they say to you, okay, that's wonderful. Okay, Dad, give me buy me a car because I'm the best student in the classroom. Okay, I will buy you a car. You are the best student. That's wonderful, my, my son. And then you, the, 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 your parents go to school and they find that you are in a classroom have only one student, which is you. That means Allah is a liar. How you say you are the best of the creators when there are no other creators? What is the what is the core of belief in Tawheed? He said to believe in the oneness of one creator. He said that. And yet Allah, he says he's the best of the creators. So Allah is a liar. He claimed that he is the best. He's comparing himself to who? He said there is people create idols. Creating idols is not a creation, you liar. In the, in the mean of mythology and religion, creator is somebody who create life. If I make a bicycle, this is not a creation. This is invention. Call me back, call me back. Look, your you know your internet is not good, brother. 
Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, we have the best of the creators. He won uh, the, the Nobel Prize of the best of the creators. Call me back, call me back. And guys, Jesus, he was given the ability to create by Allah. It doesn't matter. First of all, this is a claim of your prophet. They have a proof. I can claim now that I gave Jesus the ability to create. People will laugh at me. A guy, he came after 600 years after Jesus. He said that his God gave Jesus the ability. Do you have a proof? There's no proof. Yes, Abdul, how are you, Mr. Mm -hmm. Oh, he hang up. Hmm. Look like they have a bad internet today. Do we have Abdul? Who is next? Call me, call me, the Somali boy who came to speak Arabic. I like you. I like you, I like you, I like you. Muslims, sing with me. Do you love me? Do you? Do you? Ah, he's calling back. That's wonderful. Hello? You broke up again. No problem. So now what happened now? Allah is the best of the creators. How okay, he says such so a thing? You know, he's, hmm. you, you, we're, we're repeating the same thing again and again. We're not going nowhere. So how Jesus, he became a creator now? Explain to us. Okay, so basically Jesus created a fly, so now he's a creator. <laughs> Look at your logic. You're stupid, man. You see? Okay, guys, did he say that you're the one, the one no, who believed? Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. This guy, he just called Allah a stupid. Did you hear it? He said, if Jesus... I'm talking to you. I'm no, no, to you. no, no, no. You are the one who said, if Jesus created a fly, that will make him a creator. You are the one who said oh, that. No, 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 you, no. You are the one I'm who said, no, 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 no. You said that everybody heard you. It's recorded. It's on the internet. And people laugh at you. So how, then how Allah, he said that the one who create a fly, and you are the one who agreed that if somebody can create a fly, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Abdul, no, no, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Answer, listen, how you say, speak, how you say, how you say, how you say it is stupid. Let me speak, let me speak, let me speak. Uh, no, 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 wait, 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 I want stupid. you, you will change You're the topic. Don't change the topic, Kazab, Somali boy. I'm not changing the topic. Chapter 22, chapter 22, verse number 73, it says clearly that if you can create a fly, then you can accept him to be as a god. Let me finish. How you say whoever believes in such a thing is a liar? Let me finish. How you say that? Answer, go ahead. We're going to keep speaking of each other. Answer. I'm listening. How you say that? How you accuse Allah to I be a liar? Jesus created with the permission of Allah. Jesus it doesn't create anything. So speak, no, about speak about the fly now. Speak about the fly. Speak about the fly. Speak about the fly. Why you say about the fly? 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 You are the one who said whoever believe in believe in, if somebody can create a fly is a stupid. You are the one who said that. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. Don't ask me a question. No, you cannot. You have to answer first about what you just said. Let me ask you a question. I'm trying to. This is incredible. The guy he said. Whoever believed that if somebody can create a fly, he is God, is a stupid. And the Quran saying that in the front of your eyes. I would be like, I say, you're stupid, you're a kazab. Let me finish now. Well, the Quran well, says that. The Quran says that. And you are the one who agreed with me a second ago, but, that if somebody no, can create a fly, you, you did, it's recorded. Oh, oh, oh. It's can I finish? Can I finish? Brother, can it's I recorded. Finish? Go ahead, go ahead, I'm listening. Is Jesus God? The Quran said, yes, he's God. No, no, I'm asking you. I'm asking you to go. Don't talk about the Quran. I'm talking For about sure you now. For sure, Jesus is God. You... Otherwise, how he can create you... from the mother bird? I'm, I'm, ask, I'm asking about you and your Quran. You. I just answer you. How I... Jesus How Quran. Jesus? How Jesus? can be, cannot be okay, God okay. if he is Please. the best of can the you... creators? If Jesus is the can... best of the creators or Allah? My brother, can I let you speak? Can you speak? Who is the best of the creators ask... according to you? I asked you. Jesus or Allah? I asked ask you a question. I asked you a question. I'm answering that... you. What's wrong with you? Are you stupid or what? I just said to you, yes, Jesus is God because the Quran confirmed that. The Quran confirmed that you uh, have to worship okay. Jesus. Do you want me to show you that you have to worship Jesus in the Quran? Can I, can I finish? Can I finish? Can I yes, finish? yes. You're, you're asking me a question. You ask me. Okay, okay, do you believe ask, okay, that Jesus is God? Did you say that? Yes or no? Did you say? 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 Is Jesus is God? Yes or no? Did you ask me a question? Is this a shanty match? Huh? is this a shanty match? Did you, shanty did, you did you ask me if Jesus is God? Yes or no? Did you ask me that question? Oh. That was a sub question. Sub question. Sub question. What I mean? So what is the question? Give me the question. Okay, it's leading up to a bigger question. Are you going to jump from this? <laughs> we are inside the hole. We have to get out. You no, are no, the no, one no, who said. No. You are the one who said that Jesus was given the ability by Allah to create. Correct. Did you say that? So Jesus is a creator. He have a permission from Allah. 
So I mean, now we have two creators. Oh, how you how you claim, how you answer me in the first second you call me that the oneness of Islam I, for God I said to, to worship I said one to you, creator, but yet Jesus I, I is the creator. We don't worship Jesus. Sorry, that's you. I know that's you it. don't worship Jesus, and and, and no. you don't deserve Jesus anyway. You worship a stone. No. You worship a leg. You worship a you God who's a shin. How you how you worship a God? He's a leg. How 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 dare yeah. you to worship a leg? How God can be a leg? Can you tell me? You worship a man who cries how, at night. How, to okay, okay, hold on, hold on, guys, 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 guys. Oh, guys, guys, guys. You worship a man. He have shit. Can you show me where it says he have shit? Can you show me that? Can you show me? Right. We went to the toilet. Can you show? Can you show me where Jesus went to the toilet? I want to see that. Okay, he slept. I'll show you where he slept. Allah is asleep. Allah is, is awake or asleep. My friend, you are you keep changing the topic like a kid. For you are a kid. How God can be? You said how you worship a man. Your God, Allah, is a shin. Is that true or I'm lying? Say Mark four thirty eight. Is Allah is a shin or not? Mark four thirty eight. My Let's friend, see, my friend, Jesus in the Bible says when he is asleep, he was controlling the storm. This is what the Bible says. Jesus is asleep, but yet he's controlling the storm. Jesus, Jesus is asleep. Jesus is asleep. You, you see, you see, you are a coward. Let me ask you a okay. question right let now. Me is Jesus, let me finish. Jesus, donkey, don't, the, don't, see? don't call me donkey. Don't call me donkey because your father he married a woman. Her last name is donkey, and his oh. last name is dogs. Is that correct? Is that the truth? Is that the truth? Is that the truth that your prophet last name is dogs? Yes or not? I'm lying. Let me finish. I'm lying. The Bible is. Am I lying what? that the prophet last name is dogs and his wife his last name is donkey? Yes or not? Why you are calling me donkey? What? You got no respect in your Bible, and my friend, my friend, my friend, answer me. Why you are calling me donkey? Is it true that you're a prophet? His last name is dogs, and his wife, her last name is donkey. Yes or no? He right, the prophet Lot See? slept with his own children. Oh, hold on, hold on, guys. He's prophet right. Lot, prophet Lot, he slept with his children. Let me show you how stupid yeah. you are. Yeah. Who is the one who said to you he's a prophet? La ilaha illallah. Who is the one who said to you he's a prophet? Prophet Lut left his daughters. You are a donkey. Who is the one who said to you he's a prophet? Number one, <laughs> number two, yeah, number two, donkey, donkey. Listen, and then where it says that he slept with his daughters, where it says he slept, where it says he slept, you donkey, you are a liar. Show me, show me. Okay, I want to see it. I want to see it. I will make everybody laugh at you. The verse in the Bible it says Abdul. The verse in the Bible says that his daughter they made him drunk and they slept with him, not him slept with them. No, they slept with his daughters. So his daughters, his daughters are being bad. And, and the Quran says that his his wife, she's a whore. She was sleeping with the whole town. Do you want to show it to you? Jesus. Okay, can I, can I, can Do you want me to show it? it to you? Let me ask you. Now, are you saying that this is a question in the morality of God or the morality of the man? I'm saying your Bible is corrupt. My friend, the Bible is corrupt. The Quran says, The Quran confirmed what is between the hands of the, of the Jews and the Christians. So you are saying that you're a prophet. You are saying that you're a prophet is a liar again. Now listen. Let's, let's, let's get to that verse. Let's pick up that verse. Abdul. He says, no, no, finish, okay, finish, finish with Dude because we want to laugh. Finish with Dude, please. G okay, let's get to the first first question. Why you keep moving? Don't you want to talk about loot? Don't you okay, want to talk about loot? Okay, let's, let's, let's bring the verse. Hmm. That's all. Uh -huh. that your Bible has incest and pornography. Okay. In Ezekiel chapter 23, when you go to that later, okay? Mm -hmm. In what Allah, Ezekiel chapter 23. We're gonna go to that uh -huh. later. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You read Ezekiel chapter 23? My friend, I'm listening. Go ahead, please, brother. Tell me, read, read for me, please. Go ahead. And let me uh, let me take a confirmation from you that the one who believe in incest is evil. Say that. No, no, no. I believe no Bible has incest. My friend, my friend, say say that whoever believe in incest is evil. I want to hear it from you. Okay, let me, let's let's not jump from one topic. We are to not topic. jumping. We are talking about the same topic. Stay say to me, say to me, confirm, confirm to me that whoever believe in incest is evil. Do you believe in incest? My friend, answer me. Direct question. Okay, Genesis, Genesis. My friend, answer me, answer me. Do you, See, you don't let me do you believe no, I am asking you you are quoting this me for me for what to prove what okay to, to be let's prove let's Abdul 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 no, 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 no. when you say to me in the Bible there is an incest you are trying to prove to me what that prophets cannot commit incest no 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 you are trying to prove to me what that this is evil right no, I'm showing you the Bible my, is my friend my friend you are trying to prove to me that this is evil yes or no I'm showing you the prophet. You ascribe my, my friend. Say that. Say be, be a man. Be a man for ask once it, in your ask, life. Say if a man, it. if a man, he step with his daughter. Is that a teaching of evil? Yes or no? Say yes. You ask me a question. You ask me say a question. Say yeah. Abdul. Say yes. Why you don't dare to say yes? 
Does that mean? Are you you say yes? Can I ask you a question? Did you say yes? No, don't ask me a question. You have to answer me first. You mentioned to me the incest. Why is that to prove that this is evil or to prove this is good? Okay, you're asking me why in it. Can I just answer that question? Why why is this? Answer. Do you agree that this is evil or this? Do you agree (laughs) this is good or bad? Do you agree this is evil or not? Why you are quoting for me if you don't dare even to say it's good or bad? Are you a kid? You are the kid. Are you? Are you Aisha? Are you Aisha? A brother? Are you Genesis. Genesis. Is incest? Is is incest? Abdul Gaz, you don't even dare. Do you know why? Because he knew in his religion they are allowed to sleep with their children. Can I finish? Can I finish that? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you a person against sleeping with your children? Yes or no? Listen. Can I? Can I? Are you? Are you? Are you against sleeping with your children? Yes or no? Prophet Lut slept with his my daughters friend, in the Bible. My friend, my friend, I'm asking you, are you against sleeping with your children according to Islam? Yes or no? Your prophet slept with the see, Bible. Are, with see, the, see, guys, he's a coward. He will not say yes or no because the Quran teach, the Quran teach you can sleep with your daughters, you liar. The Bible, they are the reporting, Bible. the Bible, they are reporting that they did that to survive. They have no kids. There's no men around them. There's nobody around them. They live in the middle of nowhere. And it's not hey, God. Listen. Listen, Abdul, stupid. It's not Abdul. God. It's not God who told them go and sleep with their father. If I am now, I go and sleep with my neighbor. That is not God telling me that. You are a stupid. You are a donkey like your okay, father. Okay, shall I show you? Okay, now, shall I show you? Now, let me show you. Let me show you the Quran, you stupid, saying that you can sleep with your see, daughter from see, your see, blood. See. Your daughter from your blood. This is Tafsir al-Qurtubi, it says. That it's allowed for a Muslim to have sex with his daughter if she is a daughter out of marriage. How dare you to speak about incest when you Muslims believe in that? Okay, can I speak now? You can go seconds. ahead. How Allah he says that? Go ahead. For 20 seconds, let me just read this verse for you. Now. Abdul, how you, I answered you. I answered, I answered you about the Bible. I answered you. Those women, okay. Abdul, those women, they sleep with their parent, their, their father because they want to survive. However, nobody agree with them to be good or not. This is their decision. And the Bible is full of stories about people did good and did bad. Can I read it? Can I read it? And the can Quran, read Abdul, you Ab- me, Abdul, you Abdul, you can read it as much as you wish. Okay, thank but you. But now thank as you. long as long you agree that this is evil and okay. this is faithful, can I read it? how the Quran says second. that it's you can second. have, how the Quran says the following, وَفِي أَصَحِ الْقَوْلَيْنِ لِعُلَمَائِنَا وَأَصَحِ الْقَوْلَيْنِ فِي الدَّيْنِ in, in, that's by the Quran. That's by the Quran. Doesn't matter. This is Quran. This is Quran. Show me the Quran. Show me the Quran. Show me the Quran. It's in front of you on the screen. It's in the front of you. Okay, Maru, one second, one second, one second. We're going to get to that. Okay, let's read this first and we're going to go to that one. Read okay? it, I'm listening. Go ahead, go ahead, I'm listening. Go ahead. Okay, Lut, okay, this is Genesis 1930. Yeah? Uh-huh. Lut and his daughters left Zor and settled in the mountains for he uh-huh. was afraid to stay in Zor. Uh-huh. He's an, he and his do- two daughters lived in a cave. One day, the older daughter said to the younger, Our father is old and there is no man around here to give us children. Uh-huh. As is as is the custom all over the earth. Let's get our father to drink wine and then sleep with him uh-huh. and preserve our family. Uh-huh. That night, they, get, they got their father to drink wine and the older daughter went in and slept with him. Okay. He was not aware of it. The uh-huh. next day, the older daughter said to the younger, last night, I slept with my father. Uh-huh. Let's get him to drink wine again tonight. Uh-huh. You go in and sleep with him okay. so we can preserve our family line through our father. Thank you. So they got their father to drink wine That's and the night also. Look at this incest. Okay, guys, you, okay, you finished? Did you finish? Did you finish? So you let just admit that you just admit. Oh, 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 I told you, you asked me to let you read it. You asked me yeah, to read it. I did, I did. Me, now you just me, admitted that those daughters are not being bad, really. They want to survive. There's nobody, there's nobody around them. There's no family around them. There's no men around them. They want to have babies. Now shut up and read for me how your scholars and how your prophet agree that if you have a child out of marriage, you can have sex with her. Okay, can I can I can I comment on that verse first? No, you can. You, you did already. We we did. We did. We, okay, go go, go ahead. I'm ready. Comment, comment, guys. Comment. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm okay, according to the Quran, Prophet Lut is a prophet. Okay, so mm. no prophet can do what this this was what your Bible ascribed to the prophet. My he friend? says the mm. no. Let me finish. Let me finish. The prophet Lut in your Bible says he committed incest. This shows your Bible to be a corrupt Bible, and you lied about the Prophet. You're a liar. You're a kadab. Your Bible is corrupt. Are you done? Thank you. Are you done? Are you going to hang yes. up or what? Don't hang up. I'm not going to hang up. Okay. Me. Give me the verse. Okay, hold on, hold on. First of all, you just admitted yourself that you are a stupid. No, you're a stupid. Because, 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 because the verse, my friend, it doesn't say that he did. He was drunk. He's not aware. He did. He did. He, did. he, he says he did. He, no, he, no, it doesn't say that. They yes, stepped with him. Yes, he, he was a drunk, and you are a liar. Everybody can read it. Secondly, how how you say how you say that if somebody oh, steps if you oh, hold on 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 did your prophet did loot wife she was a whore according to the quran no but he never slept with no one i'm asking you did the yeah, wife I, of who of loot in the quran she was a whore yes or no 
Prophet Lut. Yes. Was his wife a whore? Was he a whore? No, he wasn't a whore. Prophet was not. Not whore. he. His wife Abdul. Sorry, I don't know that question. The answer to that question. What do you mean you do not know? Chapter sixty-six, verse number ten. It says that his wife, she, and the wife of Noah and the wife of Lut, both of them they what? used to be whore and they cheat in their husband. Chapter what? Chapter sixty-six, verse number ten. We started from Trinity and I look where we moved to. See, you are the one who mentioned this. You are blaming now. Now, okay, forget about this. So, the wife of, oh. of Lot in the Quran and Noah, they are both are prostitute what, 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 and what, nobody what, have a problem with them. Now, let's, wait, 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 wait. What, what, I told you, I told you, chapter 66, verse number 10. Okay, brother, I'm using my phone, that's why I'm not on my computer. Uh, no problem. Okay, okay. Mm. امرأة نوح وامرأة لوط كانت تحت عبدين من عبادنا الصالحين خانتهما فلم يقنعوا عنهما من الله شيئا وخير دخول النار مع الداخلين. So okay. they were whore both of them. How that can happen? How 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 Noah and how Lot agree to have a whore wife? Where did say whore? It says they cheated and then خانتهما. What خانتهما mean? Tell me what خانت mean? What خانت mean? What the word خانت mean? Let me let me let me translate. What the word خانت? What the word خانت mean? Abdu. Abdu, what the word Khanat means? Oh, brother, Christian, 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 do you know what you do? Brother, you brother, what? what the word Khanat mean? Let's read it in context. What the, no context. problem, in context, it says they betrayed their husband and they cheated and them Khanat and do you want to open dictionary? No, 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 let's read it in context from the beginning. Come on, man, why my are you friend, doing this? My friend, you? okay, read why from the beginning. Read, read, okay, read from the beginning, brother. He's basically saying Allah presents an example, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, for those who disbelieve the wife of Noah and the wife of Lot. Hmm. Yeah, okay. How, how did they, they were under what did they, they were exactly? two what did they of our righteous of our righteous servant but betrayed them they betrayed them so they, those prophets did how not they avail betray them how did they betray them all. how they betray them it doesn't say here ah in arabic it says khanat what khanat in arabic mean but no but does it say here why they betrayed them what the word khanat mean in arabic oh, that's the question why do you don't want to say this is a foul translation what betray them it says khanat khanat is a woman who's a cheating my uh, when you say that's me she did cheat on him now listen listen let, not, don't do waste my time let us let us hit the hard one how the quran is, this is tafsir al qurtubi this is, is tafsir this is tafsir al qurtubi saying that you can have sex with your daughter if she is a daughter out of marriage and he is saying that this is the most agreed opinion of all the muslim scholars in the world the sunni and i agree that you are a sunni right so how you agree with that that if you have a daughter out of marriage you can have okay. sex with her and her mother okay. in the same time. Read with me carefully, Abdul. Read with me. Hmm. What does Khanat Huma mean? It means betrayed. Abdul, Khanat Abdul, betrayed. Abdul. Uh, read with me, read, with me read, with me, read with me, read with me, read with me, Abdul. Read me with Abdul. Read, read. Let us oh, let us, let us, let us love together. Read with me. وهو الذي خلق من الماء بشرا أي خلق من النطفة من الإنسان لا 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 عبدول read and laugh with me you discussed in filthy religion النسب والصهر معنيان يعمن كل قربة تكون بين آدميين قال ابن قال ابن العربي شطاب you see you have you have no dignity I let you speak I let you speak you don't want me to speak because you are ashamed of what you in the Quran you are saying to me that incest in the Bible is wrong is bad when your Quran teaching incest everywhere, isn't it your God who asked the children of Adam? Isn't it your God who asked the children of Adam to give him a gift in order to approve the women who have no cross eyes to marry the other brother? What did Khanat mean? Abdul, Abdul, let us read. Why did you lie? Why did you lie to the people? Okay, do you want me to open the dictionary? Khanat means betrayed. Do you want me to open the dictionary? Yes or no? Be a man. What is Khanat Do you know Arabic? I'm asking you, do you want me to show the dictionary in the screen? Whatever the dictionary says, I will take it. Do you agree? That's not fair. That's not fair. Huh? Come on, what is this one? Huh? I'm, not, Allah, Allah, I'm not having this list. Khanat Abdul, Umar, Abdul context, why are you are wasting my time? If you want to stuck with the word Khanat, if it's mean betrayed oh. or mean the cheat, the code, the code, do you want me to open the dictionary? Yes or no? My salam, you don't let me speak. What is this? You see, you, you are a liar. You, you, you don't want to see the dictionary because you know it's agree with me, not with you. Okay, okay, listen. Let me say <laughs> okay, okay, I agree. <laughs> so the dictionary agree with me, and you are just a Abdul, another, another, another guy who drink, drink camera. Okay, now, listen, why you don't want to read this for me? Seconds. We finish with this. Why you don't want to read this with me? That the prophet he said, and Islam says in the Quran that you can have sex with your daughter if she is a daughter of marriage. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. In this verse, does not mean what you're saying, it means betrayed. See, guys, he's stuck there. He will not, he will not go. He will not, he will not challenge me to go to the dictionary 
he will not challenge me. Why you don't challenge me, Abdul? Why you don't okay. challenge me? Do you no, is, no, why you don't <laughs> challenge me? Let us do this. If I prove that I am right, huh, I will apologize from you. And I, if I prove that you are wrong, you are oh, going no, no. to say Quran is a stupid book. No, you're going to say Bible is a stupid book. What, so what so why you don't challenge me? Challenge me. What's wrong with you? You are saying. You, are, you, are, are you sure? Are you sure that this is mean? What you are saying? Okay, can I can I speak now? Are you are speaking. Why you don't You're say? Not, why you don't challenge me, my friend? Why you don't change? Why why you, why you don't challenge me? Whenever, challenge me. Whenever whenever I speak, you, you my friend, me, so my I'll friend, speak. my friend. Why you don't challenge me? There are. I don't want to shout. I don't want to shout. Abdul, Abdul. Why you don't challenge me? If you're waiting patiently for a letter from the Quran, here, uh, uh, it could cost you your life. Commercial in this website. It's time to get out of line with UPMC. Why you don't challenge me, Abdul? Listen, Wallahi, it's no point speaking to Wallahi, this, you know, brother, Arabic. Wallahi, brother, brother, Wallahi, brother. Okay, so, okay, so, Abra, Abra, Wallahi, brother, Wallahi, brother. Brother, 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 Wallahi, brother. Sorry, guys, I have it's this. Uh, this website is making commercial. Let me show you. Let me show you. What? Do you want to challenge me or no? Hello? Hello? Potato. Guys, he will not read in front of us because he just shot his God in the foot. We have a God. His name is Allah. He said to the Muslims, if you have a daughter out of marriage, you can sleep with her. If you have a girlfriend, and you made her pregnant, you can sleep with the mother and the daughter. Why do you call? Do you hear me, Muslims? You are the one who lost connection, Abdul. Okay, listen, okay. Can listen, I, listen, 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 listen. Does it say, wow. don't waste my time, you are trying to escape. You are the one who spoke about incest, let us finish it. Does it say, okay, in, the finish, front, does it, does it say in the front of you in the screen that it's allowed for a Muslim, screen. it's allowed for a Muslim to have sex with his daughter if she is a daughter out of marriage? Yes or okay. I'm lying? Okay, okay. Why I have been putting is a Quranic verse. It says here, let me read it back to you. Min ibadin is salahin fakhanat huma. What does fakhanat huma mean? You see, he verse? will not talk about it. He will, not, he, he, he will stuck with that one. He don't want me to show you the dictionary. He don't want to. Why? Why you don't want to? Okay, let's okay, well, okay, hold, okay, hold, 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 hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We will go back to this one. Why the Quran says, because you are talking about incest, right? Let us talk about incest. Okay, and then we go. Read the Quranic verse. Let's read the verse. Ah, Jason, Abdul. Does it say in the front of you on the screen? Right. Why you are right. running away, Abdul? Don't I'm losing patience with you. Why you don't want to read it? Are you ashamed? Are you ashamed? Be honest. Are you ashamed? Okay. Why it Shano. says here, why here it says if you have a daughter out of marriage, you can if her. Well, why does it say that? Okay, read it. In front okay, of let's you. read the verse. It's on the screen. Wait, wait, are you reading the Quran verse or my friend? Reading... This is the Quran and this is the interpretation, and this is the most agreed ah, opinion. Interpretation. Interpretation. Uh -huh. So are Allah. you saying to me, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on? Are ah, you saying to me that you Muslim? Are you saying to me that you Muslim? Are you telling ah. me that you uh -huh. ah. hold on, hold on, guys? Let, 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 shut, Liar. Up, shut up, shut up, shut up. So guys, he just admitted that this is what the interpretation is saying. I'm not going to shout for the list of the night. I'm done shouting. You just admitted. That you Muslims understand the Quran, that you can have sex with your daughter. In the Bible, the verse you show me, you idiot. It doesn't say that God He said to them, go and do that. It doesn't say that the scars of the Christianity or the Jews says you can have sex with your daughter. This is what the daughter did in order to preserve their family. Not God told them. This is their own decision. Everybody will be judged in the judgment day by his decision. I can rape, I can kill, I can steal, I can be honest. This is have nothing to do with God. Here, God is talking. The Muslim interpretation, the Muslim interpretation, as the Abdul Muslim here, he said, Somalian boy, that this is the. No, interpretation. You don't know who I am, you African donkey. Abdul, yes. Abdul, you just yeah. said, you just said, you are calling me African donkey. Why you are saying that? Yeah. No, because you said I'm a donkey as well earlier. Come on, man. You, why are you saying African donkey? Why are you saying African? No, because you, you said I'm a something Somali, some idiot. I don't so, know what so you said. So you, you just said you are not Can an African. You just said you are not an African donkey. Why do you, why did you use ad hominems? Why you are saying you are not an African? Why you are saying why you are saying why you are saying why you are saying you are not an African donkey? Why you are insulting the black people? I'm insulting you. You said I am not an African donkey. You were talking about yourself. You said I am not an African donkey. Huh? You said you are not an African donkey. Why you said that? I said 
I said, you are African donkey. I am African donkey. Okay, so guys, so this Muslim, he's saying to me, Christian Prince, you're an African donkey. So you Muslims believe that donkeys and African are one. You Muslims I'm believe... To you, I'm to you as a human being, because you, you said I'm a donkey. You, but you yeah. just said African donkey. What the word African have to do here with the job? Why you are saying the word African? African. Because you're African. No, because because you believe because you're Af I am not African. African. I'm not African, Abdul. You are you the are one. You just admitted you that you Muslims are a you bunch are of African. filthy races. Shut up, you filthy. African. You are African. You, you are obviously a son of a whore. This is what I say to you. A person who is not a son of a whore, he will not say to a person, "You are an African donkey." Shut up and don't call me. Your mother, she was not a good woman. And this is why you call the African donkeys. If she was a good woman, you will never say that. And they say to us that Muslims and Islam is for African. African donkey. What a filthy mother you have to teach you to say that to the African. He will not read in the front of us, but he admitted that the Quran says it clearly in and the interpretation of the Muslims. You know, shouldn't we ask ourselves why the scholars of Islam agree that you can have sex with your daughter if the Quran does not mean that? And here it says, وَفِي أَصَحِّ الْقَوْلَيْنِ لِعُلَمَائِنَا وَأَصَحُّ الْقَوْلَيْنِ فِي الدِّينِ It is according to the most accurate opinion to all our scholars in the religion, fiddin, in the whole belief of Islam, that if you have no relationship of marriage in this relationship, it is not haram. فَلَا يُحَرَّمُ الزِّنَا بِنْتْ بِنْتِ أُمْ وَلَا أُمُّ بِنْتْ it's not, it's not haram to have adultery, fornication, with the daughter and her mother, because it is not forbidden what is forbidden from halal, which means from, from what is kosher, is not forbidden from what is not kosher anyway. So because she is his, his daughter from adultery, you can have sex with her. That is a devilish teaching. The stupid idiot he quote for me from the Bible saying that the daughter of Lot, they had sex with their father, but that is not God teaching. And this is not how the Christian understood that or even the Jews. And even the verse there says, why they did that? That because they want to have sex. The purpose is not to have sex. The purpose, they want to get to Britain so they can have kids, so they can survive. Even the verse you are reading there, it says why. Here, we have God of Islam talking, the Muslim scholars explaining, the Muslim believers believe in it. And now he said to me, ah, this is the interpretation. Is that my problem? This is the interpretation of who? Your scholars. What kind of faith and religion believe in such a thing? Then if we go back to Jesus being the one who can create by the permission of Allah. I mean, how stupid that is to say. Because if Jesus have a permission from Allah to create or not, that will not change the fact that right now in the sky, we have a bird who they are flying in the sky created by Jesus. We ask the Muslims, what is the essence of Tawheed, which is supposedly the oneness of God? By the way, the word Tawheed does not mean oneness of God. The word Tawheed means unification, to unite many objects. If we ask this guy, make a sentence for me in Arabic using the word Tawheed. Tawheed al-Dual al-Arabiyya. To unification or unite the Arabian states. This is what Tawheed means. If we go in the Quran, where the Muslims they, they claim that Jesus was given a permission by Allah to create a bird, you will notice with me right away that this verse get Allah busted again. Allah is the best of the creators. Is he better than Jesus? Prove it. Allah is the creator. Do you have a proof that Allah can create anything? No. But the Quran confirmed that Jesus can create. Read with me carefully. And we will make him a messenger into the children of Israel. Lo, I come to you, saying, Lo, I come to you, Jesus talking now, supposedly. With a sign from your Lord, this is a sign, miracles. What he will do, read with me carefully, I fashion for you, I, 
who is talking Jesus I not Allah fashion I fashion for you out of the clay the likeness of a bird and I breathe into it and then it is a bird by Allah leave hold on hold on hold on the leave of Allah is the following he gave the ability to Jesus to fashion mud in any shape he wish here the, the example of a bird is just an example of what he can do fashion a bird fashion a cat fashion whatever whatever he fashion he just can't do it so what he do he breathed into it how Allah he created Adam according to his Quran he breathed into him Jesus he do exactly as Allah do he breathed too he breathed into the mud and the mud became alive became a living creature and he fly now the Quran when the Quran says that Allah he gave a permission to Jesus that will not change the fact that he can do it and there is no proof this is Muhammad claiming that this is by permission of Allah there's no proof I can say now I gave the permission to Jesus to do that people will laugh at me the same as we are laughing at Allah because if Allah can create anything at least Allah he should be able to make Muhammad read Allah he came to Muhammad sent his angel and the angel said to him that Allah saying to you read three times Allah said to Muhammad read and still Muhammad cannot read you see if Jesus is talking even if he say to a donkey read once the donkey will read in any language he wish Allah he said to Muhammad three time read and still Muhammad have no idea what this guy is talking about so how Allah can make by his leave Jesus can be creator but he cannot even make Muhammad neither understand what he is saying to him or even to be able to read any Muslim can explain he is God, but he said to Muhammad, read it three times, and he squeezed him three times, but yet Muhammad cannot read it still. And Jesus, he resurrect people from the death. And Jesus, he tell you what you hide in your house, which means Jesus, he knows the unseen. Isn't it the Quran says nobody knows what is the unseen except Allah? I announce to you what you ate and what you store in your houses. How Jesus can do that? I. I heal who is born, who was born blind. I. I mean, why Jesus have all those list of miracles? Give one to Muhammad. What about Allah give Muhammad the ability to heal a blind? Just once. I mean, give, take one miracle from the miracle of Jesus, give it to Muhammad. All those things was given to Jesus for what? And here you will notice with me, this guy he said that Allah he gave those miracles to Jesus so the Jewish will believe in him look how stupid what he just said anyone notice how stupid what he said who noticed with me they call me call me three is three cream I, I will explain to you in the Trinity my friend call me I will explain to you you promise if I explain it to you you will convert to Christianity call me be a man okay he said that Allah gave him all those miracles so the Jews they might believe but look what happened the Jews did not believe and we became a Christian so Allah is a stupid God <laughs> he gave him all those miracles to believe that he is a prophet or to believe his God look what happened to the Christians there's right now more than three billion human beings believe that Jesus is God because he can do those things. If Jesus cannot do any of those things, none of us will believe that he's God. Do we agree, Christians? Why we think Jesus is God? Because he can do what nobody can do. So if Allah did not give him those miracles, Jesus will not be worshipped by us. So Allah stupid God again. He made us instead of believing in Jesus as a prophet, he, he gave him too much power to the point he made us believe his God. That is the most stupid religion ever. It's called the religion of the Abdul. Welcome to the Abdul world. Brother Sister, Allah gave this brother 
the ability to create brother because he wanted to believe okay why he did not give that to muhammad why he did not give the ability to heal the leper or to make the blind see or to tell you what you had in your house you're a prophet they came to him and they asked him you are a prophet of god right he said that, <clears throat> i think though he said they said to him what is the spirit i mean we are not asking you to tell us the, the the i mean like to make a miracle what is the spirit a very simple question muhammad took him two months to find the answer and what is the answer is allah knows best i mean how is stupid this prophecy and this prophet is people they are asking you what is the spirit you say is only allah knows chapter 17 verse number 85 they ask thee concerning the spirit. Look here, they put between inspiration. It doesn't say inspiration, it says a ruh, not the Holy Spirit or anything. The spirit say the spirits come from the command of my Lord of knowledge. What but they are they are saying to you, what is the spirit? They are not asking you where it's coming from. <laughs> When the Muslims, well, you know, when the Muslim witnessed Muhammad first debate with the Christian, anyone remember what happened? This is why, you see, the Muslims, they don't debate us. They try to do mockery. This is a religion of cowards. When the Christians, they came to debate Muhammad, what Muhammad he did? They came to him and they said to him, we want to debate you about what you said about Jesus. Muhammad, he could not answer them. He said to them, okay, well, uh, I cannot debate you, but we can do this. Let us invoke curse in the one is lying. What? What, what, what? Hello? If anyone dispute in this matter, the matter of what? Jesus. Now, after all the knowledge has come to you, say, come, 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 baby, come. Let us gather together brother our sons and your son what sons and your son those are bishop they don't have wives they don't have kids kids this is a clear evidence that muhammad is an idiot he is saying to the bishops let us come gather together bring our sons and your sons our women and your women but they don't have sons they don't have women these are bishop they are priests and ourselves and yourself and let us earnestly pray to invoke the curse of Allah and the one who lie look how stupid this argument so Muhammad hijab yesterday he is breaking the Islamic nature and the Islamic law he should go and stand in the stage says if I am lying may Allah cut my nose the turn now for your brother David Wood David Wood he take the mic he says well if I am lying uh, uh, may Allah break my glasses okay your turn uh, uh, Muhammad hijab uh, if I'm lying uh, may Allah uh, make uh, make my nose look funny. Your turn. Uh, this is a debate. And here you will notice how stupid the one who made the Quran. He is saying, let us invoke curse in the one who lie. But if somebody believes in something, he's not a liar. He believes in a lie, but that will not make him a liar, correct? Uh, to, to explain to you, if a Muslim believes that Muhammad is a prophet, He's not lying in his belief. He believe in lie. So Muhammad here again proved to us that Allah is a stupid God, cannot be God. If a Hindu, he says to me, I believe in God. I, me, myself, I don't agree with him. He is not lying to me. He is telling me what he believe. Do we agree, guys? Do, do you understand what I'm saying? So the idea here is very stupid. This is, cannot be God. What is the logic? If somebody says to me, I believe that Jesus is God, and I gotta say I am a Muslim, this Christian is not lying. He this is what he believes. He believes in a lie, maybe, but he's not lying. Lying is you saying something you know it is not true. And those are Christians who believe in Jesus as God. This is what they believe, they're not lying. So the whole verse here proving to us that this is just a stupid argument for someone he is not educated. He have no answer for the Christian, he cannot debate the Christian. So let us have a cursing party. By the way, 
Uh, tomorrow is a Friday. We are going to have a Christian party, brother. Any Muslim boy tomorrow, brother, can call me, including Zakir Naik. I'm, I'm not going to shout all day long. What blocked you? I don't know who are you. You're a kid. You call the African donkeys. I uh, racist are not welcome in my program. Filthy Abdul. Anyone who called the African donkeys is a piece of garbage. I don't want to speak to him. He is not welcome to call me. Is that fair, guys? A shoe of an African is better than your face. What's wrong with the African? Ah, I forgot the Prophet of Allah. He said that Allah created the African from the left shoulder of Adam and he will send them to hell. Do you want me to show you the hadith? What a racist cult. Who is a Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge to call me. So look what we say we found. Everything the Muslims accuse us with, it is in their cult, not in our belief. Incest is not in the Bible. The Bible reporting what people did. The Bible does not teach incest. There's a huge difference. The Bible report that people, they killed Jesus. But doesn't mean that God, he told them, go and kill Jesus. The Bible repeat, you know, confirmed that people commit adultery, commit theft, commit crimes. What does this have to do with God? If tomorrow, Christian prince, he do something wrong, very wrong. What does this have to do with Jesus? Are you going to blame Jesus for my faith? That is your stupidity. In the same time, Muhammad, he claimed, by the way, here we, 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 uh, we forgot to mention something. Anything wrong in Islam, the women is blamed. You see the verse we asked him to read about uh, uh, Lut, and Noah and, and their wives. Chapter 66, verse number 10. The Quran always blame women for anything wrong. If you go in the Hadith, you will see Muhammad, the funny Muhammad, saying the following. Let me clear, close some browsers. I have too many here. MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, brother. What a stupid religion. All right. If you go in the hadith, you will see Muhammad saying the following. The Muslim they say that Christians are stupid when they believe in the original sin, right? This is what they say. And they lie and they say that the Bible blame Eve for the sin of Adam. Read with me carefully. This is Sahih al-Bukhari, blaming Eve and the Jews for everything evil in this earth, which means women and the Jews is the problem. The funny I heard that in the city of Pittsburgh in Pennsylvania, the Muslim, they collected donations for the victims in the synagogue of the Jews when the Quran and the Hadith says, you should kill the Jews. Even Muhammad, he said, time will come if a Jew, he hide behind a tree or a rock, kill him. Hypocrisy, taqiyya. Read with me carefully. The Prophet said, if we're not the children of Israel, meat would not decay. So Muhammad, he claimed that we should blame the Jews even for the food which is damaged. Why we have refrigerator? Because the Jews are exist. If there's no Jews, we do not need refrigerator. You can put the food outside and nothing will happen to it. What Muhammad is saying in this explanation, that the Jews are bacteria. The funny, the Muslim, they say that Trump, he teach hate. The, the Trump, half of his family are Jews. They claim that Trump is the reason for the shooter to shoot the Jews in the synagogue. 
but his family this guy nobody defend the Jews as he did he moved the embassy from Tel Aviv to Israel nobody did that before 60 years 70 years the Jews are waiting not one president there to do it the propaganda to fight him to stop him they claim that he is the one who is teaching hate they will not say it's the Quran it's not Muhammad we blame the Jews for every damage in this earth in the top of that and where if were it not for Eve no woman ever will betray her husband so my friend if your wife she cheated on you it's not her fault the fault go back all the way to Eve Do you see it? I'm not making things up. It's in the front of our eyes. You will notice right away when a Muslim he called, he tried to jump like a monkey from a topic to topic. He will not stay with one topic. Allah is the best of the creators. How he can be the best of the creators? Because, because of what? Oh, he's comparing between those who create idols. You compare yourself to create idols? That's stupid. You see, in order to compare between me and you, we have to be first from the same kind. Do we agree, guys? Do we agree? We can't compare between elephant, elephant, and a pen. That's stupid. You have to be from the same kind. So in order for Allah to compare himself to something else and say, I am the best of the creators, he have to be from the kind of the creators. Which means there is a kind of them. Not he is the only one. In any language in the world, including Arabic, you compare yourself to the same kind. Otherwise, people will laugh at you. But we will find the same stupid mistakes in the Quran in different places. Anyone remember where? Who remember where in the Quran it says something stupid, comparing something to something, when there is no connection between them? Or let us say counting them. Do you remember the story where the Quran speak about the seven sleepers? You remember? You go to chapter 18. Chapter 18, by the way, is the best chapter for comedy. It says, <laughs> if we read this, uh, this uh, chapter, you will see Muhammad is making a mockery of his God and showing us how stupid this religion is. I advise you to read the whole chapter. I'm, I'm telling you, this is one of the most funny chapters in the Quran. It is the more, it, it is the biggest fairy tale stories exposing Muhammad. The Seven Sleepers, first of all, is a sto fiction story written by a Christian Syrian bishop about a bunch of a Christian youth who converted to Christianity, persecuted. Then they went to the cave. God, he provided them with an angel to protect them. And they wake up after 300 years and they found that the Christians became victorious. Muhammad, he took the fiction story and he claimed it's real. But read with me here what, what Muhammad, he said. Are you ready for a comedy show? Some say they were three. And the dog is number four. <laughs> How you say they are three and the dog is number four? Is the dog is a human? Any Muslim have an idea? Imagine we have we say that I saw three girls and the four is is a, is, a, is a dog. That's stupid. You don't say that in any language in the world. In order for the dog to be number four, we need to see three dogs and then he will be number four. 
So we can say we we saw a three Doberman and one and and and, and the number four was German Shepherd. That will make sense. They are dogs. Yes, they are different, like a kind of like a, a, a brand, but still they are dogs. But to say they are a three human and the and the and the and, and the four is the dog. That's stupid. Then look, he can he continue. And say, and they say they were five, and the dog is being number six, brother. Doubtfully guessing at the unknown. W what does that mean? Some they say they are three and they are four, and the dog is number four. Some they say they are five and their dog is number six. Doubtfully, brother, they are guessing at the unknown. Okay, what is the number? What is the point of this now? Yet other says they were seven and the dog is being eight. Are we going to continue until tomorrow? And some they say they are nine, they are eight, and their dog is number nine. And some they say they are ten and their dog is number eleven. And some they say they are eleven and their dog is number twelve. And some they say they are twelve, they are and their dog is number thirteen. I should guys go and take a go and take a nap. How stupid this what's the point of this? What do you mean? Some they say they are three and number four, and some they say three down. What does that mean? This is God talking. This is how God speak. God saying, some they say, okay, Allah, uh, uh, did you open your chat room today? Yes, I will open my chat room. Allah, I have a question about those. Okay, let me tell you, uh, this is Allah now talking. Some they say, they are four and their dog is number four. They, they are three, sorry. Uh, they are, no, they are four and their dog is number five, brother. And some they say, they are six and their uh, dog, uh, they are five and the dog is number six. And, and they are uh, guessing, Doubtfully guessing at the unknown. It's unknown. Okay. What, what is this for? Yet others, brother, others, uh, there's more people. They say they were seven and the dog is being in number eight. Okay. And what is the conclusion now? Say though, my Lord knows best. What is the answer? Where is the answer? Are they three and their dog is number four or five and their dog is number six and or six and their dog is number seven or seven and their dog is number eight? What this drama for? So why you are counting us? What those people they say, if you aren't going to tell me how many they are. Unbelievable. How are you, Mr. Halim? Mr. Halim, he's saying you are you are like possessed. I like that. You know, I like it when Muslims they give me fuel, free fuel. Let me ask you, Mr. Halim, what the word possessed mean? Guys, look what Halim he said. I like Halim, brother. If you give me a call, live call, I'm going to ask Allah to give you extra versions. You are like possessed by your own. What? I don't even know how to read. I am literate like Muhammad. So called argument. First of all, let us see how you are against someone is possessed if you Muslims believe that the Prophet himself was possessed. Isn't it you must then believe that Muhammad was bewitched? So why you are saying to me you are possessed? Are you are you saying to me I'm like your prophet? Be honest with me. Huh? I mean, how dare you to insult me and say that I am the same as your prophet? You know what? This time I will forgive you. Next time. Uh, if I get married one day, I'm going to tell my mother-in-law and she is going to be obviously very, very aggressive and she will deal with you next time. I'm warning you, for the time, for this time, I will let it go. So if you are possessed, according to Mr. Halim, you are a very stupid person. You are satanic. Look what the wife of the prophet, she said about her husband. Brother, once the prophet was bewitched, like what? 
what the prophet was bewitched so you Muslims you follow a bewitched prophet and this guy he's saying to me you are possessed my friend Halim my friend listen listen to me let me show you how stupid what you are saying we claim we won we claim we won my friend the Quran confirmed that we are winners and that is showing you how stupid you are do you want me to show you are you saying that the Quran is lying Are you saying the Quran is making a lie? The Quran says, making a prophecy that the Christians are victorious until the judgment days. Translation, translation. Translation, chapter 3, verse number 55. Are you saying your prophet he made a false prophecy that we will be victorious until the judgment day? Behold, Allah said, O oh Jesus, I will take thee and rise you to myself and clear thee from the falsehood of those who bless me. I will make those who follow thee superior to those who reject faith to the day of resurrection. Anyone knows how dangerous what the Quran just said? Anyone knows? That's mean. There is a true Christians exist right now. They can't be Muslims because those people are following Jesus. Those people, they are following Jesus. Muslims, who are they, the Christians who they are following Jesus, who they are victorious until judgment day? You see, it doesn't say they are following Isa, Muhammad. Those who follow thee until the judgment day. So there is a Christianity which is a true Christianity until judgment day is exist and they will be victorious. Who is the Muslim want to tell me where we can find those Christians? Is that me? Hello? Hello, it's me. You coward Muslims, you want to debate someone who don't speak Arabic. And when we ask you a question, you start shouting like crazy and calling us names. Not even one of you dare. Where is the Muslim? He wanna call me, and he will not use a racist name calling. Any Abdul? You know, for those who they are saying that Muhammad Hijab, he did a great job. Well, as you see, Muhammad Hijab, he exposes the prophet. Watch the video from the beginning and you will see that Muhammad Hijab, he got Islam busted. That because if you're ignorant, my friend, let us say, let us say you are saying that uh, David Wood was not confident, blah, 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 blah. That guy, maybe he is intimidated because he's between a lot of Muslims. In the but yet, but yet, you know, a Hijab. He proved to us it's time to be false from his answers. He gave us a priceless answers. I have a link for my for my Facebook down in the info. Click in it, please, and go watch the videos I'm making right now and posting to expose this stupid idiot from his answers, not from the answer of David Wood. He said the most stupid things. Go ahead. I hear you, my friend. Oh, okay. How you doing? So uh I'm all right. I just I don't I'm not gonna keep you too long. You know, I spoke to you a few months back, but uh I just wanted to tell you, you know, I was getting worn out with that guy, but miss one golden nugget if you notice that guy he said he, he, uh, when you spoke about why uh, Allah didn't say salam to Muhammad when he, mm -hmm. he sent the angel to squeeze him and he sent it and he said it to Maryam and the guy said you are kadab you're a, a liar it's mm -hmm. shalom mm -hmm. but if you read if you the surah Maryam you know he clearly says uh, salam so it's funny because he's claiming his God is a liar you know because Right. He didn't use the word. He didn't use the word shalom. <laughs> no, no. If and at the same time, if you remember, if we go to the story where where uh, what they call him the guy who came to Muhammad and Muslim, they claim that this is Jibril. When he came to him in the holy story, nowhere he said to him salamu alaikum. Correct. Correct. Okay. Shouldn't we ask ourselves why an angel of God come to Muhammad first time ever, speaking to him, he don't say assalamu alaikum. Yep. This is that was very. 
I yeah, mean, this, is, this, said, this is this is this is shut up, it's shut up, you liar. <laughs> yeah, shut up, you liar. You see, the second you say something to them, they say to you, liar, and they start shouting, and they will not yeah. move. And they, they open a topic, but they don't want to close it. Do you know, did you know exactly? This? But he said, he said the word is a uh, shalom. You're a liar, but Allah says in the Quran, salam. But he's claiming his God is alive. Well, shalom actually, this is the the word salam is coming from the word shalom. Both Hebrew, yeah, exactly. both Hebrew and Arabic, both of them they are taken from the Aramaic shlama. Right. So this guy. He just admitted that when, when you see, if you remember, I said to him, do you believe that the one who can create a fly, he should deserve to be worshipped? He said, yes. Then the second we showed him that Jesus, he can create, and he said that Jesus, he was given ability, but that would not change anything. As no. long as you admitted that he can't, he, he, you know, if I give you ability, that's mean now you have the ability and that make you create a creator. That's it. Who care? Yep. Who can he get it from where? <laughs> you know, uh, unbelievable. I went to school and I learned how to fix computers. Okay, so that's mean they give me the ability to fix computers. Thank you very much. But now I can fix it. Who care <laughs> who gave it to me? Uh, yeah. So that's about it. I want to tell you one more thing too, and then I'll let you go. go ahead. When you speak about when you speak about the, you know, how uh, the copy paste of Islam is always three times. One thing I will want to hear you say more often is because I remember when I was a Muslim it's in a Tafsir ibn Kathir, Jesus asked one of his, uh, he said, who will take my place and be with me uh, in the paradise? Three times he asked and his younger disciple said me. And he said, Ijilis, you know, sit. The third time he said, okay, you're going to be the one. <laughs> you know, so that's a funny, that's another funny story. You so, can add. To so your so you, are a, you are an ex-Muslim, my friend, right? Yeah, yeah, I spoke to you a few months back. You know, okay, I just I don't, sorry, actually, I, I, I uh, apologize. I don't remember because you know too many people speak to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you see, uh, uh, I, I, lately we are getting a lot and more of ex-Muslims. Do you notice that, guys? Yeah. I, I mean, this is logical. Anyone he have a brain, he have intelligent. In the beginning, you try to resist. You try to say to you, "No way, I can't be a fool who for there's no way Islam must be good, etc." Try to resist, but. As soon you start digging, as soon you find that Islam have no base. Of course. And uh, hopefully I can get the ability, like I told you last time, to be able to, you know, you have a great insight into connecting those dots. You know, it's amazing. <laughs> well, you know, so, my friend, my friend we, we, all of us, you see this, this uh, the, the insight, I think it's something you can do in yourself too. I encourage you, if you, if you have a time, to open a YouTube channel and share you know your insight too and you know the, the uh, you see the studying things give you opportunity to think deeper about it not to take it like lightly and the more you study it the more you notice there's something wrong here and there and you know if we practice like the, our brain is the same as when you play sport with your muscles if you use it it's going to grow you know yeah it's going to be bigger and smarter it's not it's not you know people think that's okay and this is how i am no, you can train your brain to be to be faster, to be smarter, to be etc. But you need to use it. If you don't use it, you know you will not uh, be able to discover what you have. So, no. uh, uh, do you, anything else you want to say? Uh, uh, comment. Uh, that's about it. I just want to you know thank you. And if you notice, you know a couple of months you you probably don't remember, but a couple of months ago, you know I was commenting. I'm done with the you know desert religions. Well, I want to thank God. You know, last week. I got baptized into the Orthodox, you know, Holy Apostolic and Catholic Orthodox Church. And thanks God for that. I feel like a clean person, free from that cult. And I'm going to move forward and I'm going to, you know, uh, call people to the, you know, to the truth of Christ as you do. And That's I wonderful. thank God. I'm, I'm happy for you, my friend, especially that you are a person who speaks Arabic. And I guess you are an Arab, right? No, no, I learned Arabic from. Uh, oh, okay. I was a Muslim. Uh, so, just, I mean, uh, okay. you know, now, not, I, now I remember you. You learned, yeah, you learned not, Arabic yeah. because you converted to Islam, right? Right. right. Yeah, yes. You know, and I tried to go to study, but they didn't accept me in Medina. That's okay. But I, I learned from myself a little bit. You know, yeah. How to, uh, yeah. You see, the the biggest mistake Muslims they do to someone who convert to Islam is to teach him Arabic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the exactly. same. What happened to this guy? What his name? Uh, uh, he used to call himself convert to Islam, and then he called himself don't convert to Islam. So the Muslims, oh yeah, 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 he has a good, good, good pronunciation. That guy. Yeah, they 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 taught him Arabic. They spent a lot of uh, time on him, uh, hoping that he will invite a lot of people to Islam. And now he is an enemy to Islam because yeah. you know 
they fear this is why Islam fear much more those who leave the cult because now he was one of us he knew everything this is why when Umar al-Khattab he attacked Jerusalem he made one of the conditions he put on the Christians that you will not teach your children's Islam why why Umar al-Khattab don't want the Christian to teach their children Islam because he don't want them to know how stupid it is Otherwise, I will be happy if I'm a Christian go into a town that all the family there they teach their children Christianity Yeah But because he sure. don't want people to know teaching Islam Islam is ugly Islam is stupid Yeah, don't teach Islam just accept Islam This, yeah, this is the same guy. He make the Christians ride sideways on the donkey and they have to wear the hat certain way and wait on the hot line on the hottest day of the year to pay the jizya but they say oh you know islam is peace and you have a phobia yeah that's a phobia right <laughs> yeah and uh, yeah, call me like you have a phobia what phobia when i said to him your god allah in the quran said i said what to him what phobia he said the uh, hate we showed him chapter 5 verse 14 it says allah he was he he will spread hate between the christians and enmity until judgment day, judgment day so then he didn't want to talk about it uh, but yeah. if you ask him about you know why umar he made the christians wait on the long line on the hot day to pay the jizya and they can't ride on the donkey except sideways and very humiliating oh that's okay you know not, you not only that who is the one who have a phobia the muslim the first thing in the morning they say allah please don't make us the same as the lost christians or the cursed jews exactly. <laughs> who is the one who have a phobia yeah. you start your morning before you drink coffee by cursing the jews and asking allah not to make it to make you like the christian and the jews you get offended from the music you get offended unless it's ability dancing uh, women and yeah. uh, women are naked by the way, they speak too much about morality. Number one country in the world who watch porn is Islamic countries. That's true. Yeah. Nobody speak about morality as much as they do. But no. if you go down, if you go down in the street, if you go, I remember once in the Middle East, one day, you know, like houses there is different from here in USA. The, 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 the roof is a concrete. So I went in the top of my dad building. You know, my family, they own the whole building. So I went in the roof and then suddenly I found everybody in the roof. For us in the roof, we have like a yard, we have a, 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 a plant, flowers, and I went there to water them. And everybody is changing the direction of the satellite. I, mm. I don't know what's happening, but eh, I noticed that many people are in the roof working with satellite and did not talk about it. Then I went in the street afternoon, you know, like uh, just to see the friends in the street. And I was a student in school, like a, a kid. So they told me, did you change your satellite direction? I said, why I should have changed it he said what do you mean you don't change it go change it he said why I would change it he said because the porn channels now they are in different satellite <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh. the whole city guys the whole city is a change in the satellite direction because the porn channels are in different direction right now so you need to repoint your satellite but in every wow. five meters there is a mosque in every corner, there is a Muslim cleric. In every street, it says the Shahada, Allahu Akbar. Even Google says the number one countries who search for sex with animals, it's Pakistan. Alhamdulillah. Well, thank you very much, my friend, for calling and call anytime you wish. All right. And Definitely. Keep, keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. My God friends. bless you. Take care. Yes. Bye-bye. I'm happy that this uh, brother here, he became a Christian and he accepted the Messiah. That's wonderful. And he got even baptized. That's great. God is good, my friend. God is good. A lot of Muslims are leaving Islam. This is the most stupid. It's very easy to defeat Islam, but you need to have knowledge. You cannot find these. You cannot fight a disease if you don't have the knowledge. If you do not know what it is and this is why you see the Muslims are not capable of defending their cult they have no answer for anything Allah is the best of the creators the guy who go to a debate he, he prepared for it for two months and then he says that not a single Jew for 4,000 years believe to worship 
a God beside his God, not a single Jew. 4,000 years, he just proved to us Islam to be false. Because the Quran says in the time of Muhammad that the Jews worship a man, his name is Uzair. The, the Jews, they accepted rabbis as gods for them. This is why I say the debate yesterday, it is for me, it is a priceless. I don't know how many of you download my videos. I made two videos already. The third is going to be ready after I finish my podcast today. Please don't forget to download it from Facebook. If you do not know how to download it from Facebook a video, you can search in YouTube how to download Facebook video. It's very easy. And load it wherever you want. I downloaded already the whole debate of Muhammad Hijab and David Wood because I'm afraid he will take it down later. He's now he is so 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 happy with it. The Muslims they think he made a victory. But the fact the guy he destroyed Islam left and right. He was smashing the glass of the windows of Muhammad, whatever he it's like a blind man who is drunk going in a dark room. Do you remember the guy whose name is Nu'matullah Mumtaz, brother? Do you know how many claim from Muslims asking YouTube to take down their phone call to me? They call me to debate me and then they go to YouTube and they complain about invasion of privacy. But you are the one who called me, you cannot take it down. Namatullah Mumtaz, the Pakistani boy who opened a center with Taliban, he decided to debate David Wood and Sam Shamoon. Why? Because they are trying to be famous like, uh, you know, Shabir Ali and uh, to my money. It's a business. So he have a debate with Sam Shamoon. For sure, Sam Shamoon, he can destroy him easy. But the problem is, in the debates you have in those programs, five minutes for you, five minutes for me, it's useless. Nobody really corner anyone. I don't debate those debates. And I will never debate them anymore. I, I went in ABN TV before many times, and I was always upset. Not only that, even sometimes, because they are Christians, supposedly they're trying to be fair, they take the side of the Muslims against me. And not only that, before we go in the debate, the owner of the TV, he speak to me. He said, Christian friends, please, 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 don't be harsh on them. Please, 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 please. can you be nice on them? Please, please, please. So why, why, you, why are you inviting me? What do you mean be nice? I mean, what is that? What does that exactly mean? Is that going to be a debate or giving hugs? So they bring you to debate a Muslim because they're afraid if I debated him the way I am, he will never come back. That's why I told them, I'm not going to go on your TV no more. Either you let it as it is, or I'm not going to go. They get the guy who is the one, the, the, the assistance of the guy who made the miracle number 19. You remember him? I forgot his name. Uh, the Turkish guy. The Turkish guy, he ran in the middle of the debate. But it was ABN who made it easier for him. They said to him, I, I think you need to go, right? I mean, why you say that to him? Why you say you stay? You should not leave. They are helping the guy to escape. When I debated the guy, the, the, the head of the Islamic Center of the Shia in America, Hisham al Husseini, the guy who have five or six interviews in the Fox News, they could not corner him. I drove him crazy. I made him go mental. If I do it the way they want me to do it, and by the way, the host in the, in the, in the TV show was taking the side of the of those who speak Arabic, they can go watch the debate. The Christian guy in the TV, he was taking the side of the of the Muslim guy. They are look like they are doing taqiyya. <laughs> like just to make themselves look like, okay, we are not siding with the Christian. Be fair. Now, do we have any Abdul? Do we have any Abdul? Well, yeah, I made him mental. If you watch the debate, the guy who was moving around, he is cursing, he is going crazy. He is even the Muslims accuse him after the debate that I this is a fake Muslim. 
Each time I debate a Muslim, the Muslim accuse him that he got paid by me. Do you remember the, the Sheikh uh, Ruhi from al -Azhar University? The guy, he have a PhD. He's a well-known Sheikh. And you go to Pal Talk, you ask anyone, go to any chat room, tell them, is Sheikh Ruhi here? They will say to you, they are Muslims. I'll say, go right now. They made him not a Muslim. And he have no PhD. And he is a fake. And maybe he is paid by me. The guy, he, he lost his career. Yesterday, this uh, uh, hijab, he said to David Wood, uh, uh, this is a, ca a career destroyer or something he said that uh, I, don't, I don't know what exactly we said like about something about career it is you who destroy your career you thought you can escape me so your career will be preserved but by giving the answers you just gave everybody will copy those videos it's a priceless Yeah, I'm a very millionaire. Very, you know, but once in in in, uh, in Pal Talk, a guy he came to the chat room and he said to me, a "Christian Prince, give me three hundred dollars." I said, "What three hundred dollars?" He said, "Well, I left Islam, and the Muslims accuse me that you pay me three hundred dollars to leave Islam." Do you believe it? If everybody, I will pay him to leave Islam. I will go bankrupt from long time. Last weekend, we went to Texas. I spent a lot of money to go, and then I had to buy an additional ticket because the ticket reservation was wrong. I came back home. I found many people dropped donation as a reward to me. Instead of helping, this is how much money we make. The week before, I spent the whole week fixing my, my, my roof by myself. Do you see how much money we have? To the point we, we we don't even dare to hire somebody to fix my roof. I never fix a roof. I don't know what that what is that is about. I have to do it myself because we are very rich. Who is a Muslim when I call us? Any Abdul? Those who they are asking me about the debate yesterday, I believe it was a very great debate. Not because of David Wood answers. You know, I'm not going to make a comment about David. David, he do his business. But because the Muslim guy was so stupid, this is why I find it priceless. It was really a wonderful debate. The guy was doing poo poo left and right. I I watch uh, in the hour two two hours and four three minute two minutes something like that to the end. I mean not to the end of the debate. I mean like uh, like uh, while he was answering, they gave him time to answer to make rebar something like this. Five minutes he spoke. I think it is a priceless five minute. Elijah, friend, let me teach you, uh, David Wood. Elijah means God is with us. <laughs> In the book of Zechariah, uh, there is four spirit, and now you have the Trinity. That means there are seven. The book of Zechariah is speaking. Elijah is mean God is with us. You are making fun of the guy and saying he do not know Hebrew, he do not know Arabic. And then you come and you say that Elijah mean God is with us. And then you say in the book of Zechariah that it says for the spirit, and this is mean that God have for the spirit. Even donkeys will not say that. The verse there explain itself. And then he says, a brother, uh, David, what he said, that Allah and the angels pray to Muhammad. That's absolutely false. <laughs> I know it. I know it. You don't know Arabic. I know. I know I was going to do that. I'm not going to say that. And the Muslim like cheer up. Like he don't know Arabic. I mean, this guy, he's ignorant in Arabic. So now we can score him. So he said, the verse there, it says that Allah end up and his angels, they pray for the prophet, not to the prophet. He just admitted that God of Islam pray for the prophet. The second you say that, you just confirm that your God is not God.
the Christian believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. So the Son is speaking to the Father. Make sense? Allah praying to who? You are accusing the guy that didn't speak Arabic, but yet you say to us that Allah pray for Muhammad. Okay, Allah pray for Muhammad. Pray for who? I pray for Muhammad. Pray to who? Who is the person Allah is praying to? He pray for Muhammad, but obviously he's praying to somebody. This is why I say that this is a priceless debate. I like it. I love it. If there is any Muslim he like to come and call us, please feel free. Any brave Abdul? For 4,000 years, not a single Jew, not a single rabbi believe in the sight of a side God. He believed only in one God, never broke the command. And then we go in the Quran and we find that the Quran is saying it clearly that the Jews, they worship other gods. They worship a man, his name is Uzair. Even they worship their own rabbis. So he confirmed to us again, priceless answer, that the Quran is a fabrication, the book of fabrication. If for 4,000 years, not a single Jew broke the command of God, worshipping someone beside God, just to fight the Trinity, as he claimed, why he's saying to us, not a single Jew did that? Because he want to prove to us that the Jews will never break the command of God, where it says in the Bible, in the Old Testament, and he quote for us from the Bible, it says, worship your God alone, O oh, you Israel. Your God is one. He called that. He called the verse for us. And then he says to us, not a single Jew, not a single rabbi in 4,000 years. So you just admitted that your prophet is a liar. Because your prophet, he said, the Jews, they call Uzair, the son of Allah. Thank you very much. Either you telling the truth that for 4,000 years, not even a single Jew did that, or your prophet is saying the truth. And soon, as soon the Muslim, they see my videos I'm making for this guy, you will see the Muslims how upset they will be. Did you notice the guy who said he will call him to confirm? The Muslim who called me? Why Why you don't call me back? Did you ask him why you said that? I want to see why he will say, what he will say to the Muslims when he said that 4,000 years, not even a single rabbi worship a God beside his God. I have now a lot. I did not watch the debate. I watched just a few minutes of it. A few minutes of it, and already I have videos enough for two hours. So imagine if I watch it all, how many videos I will make out of it. My friend, I'm wanting to debate everybody, but what I can do? I even post it there. If you dare, if you go to his page in that video, I post it there. I am. I will be today at 3.30 p.m. Be a man and call me. What I can do more? If he offer me to call him, I will call him. Give me your Skype, I will call you. No problem. You know what I mean? What I can do? Go and see the Muslims, what they are saying about my post. The Muslims, you coward, you debate in the chat room. He don't debate in the chat What debate in the chat room? This is life. We are life. There's hundreds of people are watching. You're a prophet, he spent his life, he could not convince a few people to convert to Islam. Muhammad, he said, if 10 Jews believe in Islam, the whole Jews will believe. Where are you Muslims? And when we get a Muslim to call us like today, he start insulting the African, saying, he said, and I quote him, African donkey. He think I'm an African, so he's calling me African donkey. By the way, I like to be an African. I have no problem with that. Should I like it? What's wrong with being African? You go to the beach to swim, you look like a chicken when you take off your clothes because you are so white. 
So what do you do? You hide. You don't want anyone to see you, like, you know, until you get some tan in your skin. And, oh, I want to be black. Finally, people, they spend money to have a tan. And is my color change is going to change me? What color have to do? What color is doing to me? They are racist. They are ugly. And they claim that Islam is not about racism. Now, do we have any Abdul? May they, may they. You know, uh, first time, like, I, I, I want to start, like, uh, uh, doing what I do. Uh, people, they ask me, where are you from? And I said to myself, what I will be? I mean, I have to be something. I have to belong to a nation. Obviously, everybody want me to believe, want me to be something. Where are you from? So I said to them, I'm black, blonde, African from Japan, looking for a brand new wife between the age of six to nine. Black, blonde, African American from Japan. I mean, that's fantastic. Don't ask me how I come with this. I, I just came with it. Oh, by the way, I look like that. I look like a black, blonde, African American from Japan. Even in my passport, it says this person is a black, blonde, African American from Japan. If you don't believe me, I swear by Allah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, brother, Allah will take you accountable by your intention. By what? By your intention. What does that mean? You can swear in Islam as much as you wish, as long you don't intend to say the truth. As long your intention is to lie, Allah will not accept. Allah will take you accountable only if you are honest in the oath. Have you ever heard of a satanic religion more than this? You guys, I, I wish you were with me just two days ago in Texas. People, they were laughing like crazy. There was a guy, he cannot even breathe. I told them, this guy, he might, if something happened to him, disclaimer, right away in the stage. I was talking on the stage. I told them, look, look at this guy. He cannot even breathe no more. If, if something happened to him, I'm not responsible. Any Abdul? Hello? Who is the Abdul wanna call us? Actually, I, I was going to say before I go, but you see, I like to do the work and then I talk about it because what if it did not happen? I mean, sometime you might go travel all the way there and something happened. Because I never met those people in the church, but they are really wonderful people. Any Muslim would like to call us. For those who say David would lost, my friend, the one who lose always is the one who belong to the false religion. David would, who did his best to prove what he believed. If you can do better, go. Don't complain. Actually, he is a very brave man to go and stand between those idiots who they are trying to intimidate him. All the group around him are Muslims. Maybe he have a few friends coming with him. And yet you people are complaining. What's wrong with David Wood? He did not do anything wrong. He answered him. He got actually he got him busted, but that, but that guy, but just because he claimed that he speak Arabic, this is the game they play. They said you do not know what it says in Arabic. So don't attack David Wood. He did actually, he did really great. But the problem is, there is people who they are, let us say, they are born to debate. They have a gift. And there is people, they can debate, but they are not, let us say, you see, you have to read from the computer. That guy, he prepared himself for two months memorizing 
and none of what he said is accurate. He could not even provide anything he said to us. The church father, they never believe in the Trinity. Okay, who are the church father? Let us check it out. The same stupid idiot he said, the most ancient book is the book of Mark. But the book of Mark says that Jesus is God. He said he don't take into consideration the book of John. Who is John? Who is John Abdul? Do you want me to show you who is John? John is exist in every interpretation of the Quran. The Muslims agree and they admit that John is the messenger of Jesus. John and Simon Peter and Bulos, which means Paul. But this Abdul, he claimed that he never heard of John. Who is John? And then the guy, the stupid guy, he said, I cannot accept, I cannot even consider a book came 95 years after Jesus, as he claimed. I'm just quoting him. So look how stupid he is. The Quran, the Muslims, they have today is not exist. Hafs, which is the recitation of Hafs, which is the repeating today, is a person who came 200 years after Muhammad. So this hypocrite, he refused the book of John for it was 95 AD, but he accept the Quran, which is 200 years after the poo, poo And not only that, if you refuse the book of John, because the book of John is speaking about Jesus because it's 95 years after Jesus, then how you accept the book of Muhammad is speaking about Jesus 600 years after Jesus? Are you following me, guys? Uh, do you see the hypocrisy? You don't accept the book of John because it's 95 years after Jesus, which means the more close you are to Jesus, the more you are accepted. Okay, I will go with your logic. So how you accept what Muhammad said about Jesus when the guy never saw Jesus, never met Jesus, and he do not even know how to say and to pronounce the name of Jesus? Who is Isa? Who is Isa? His mother, his, her name is Maryam. Her father is Umran. Who is Umran? Umran is the brother. Umran is the father of Musa and Aaron. This is what the Quran says. And this is why the Edith Muhammad later, he says that Mary, she is the sister of Aaron. So you accepted the guy, and you Muslims claim that he did not even, to, to, to make it more dirty and stupid, Muhammad do not know brother how to read, how to write. So we, we don't take John, who is extremely intelligent. If you read the book of John, guys, you can tell that this person is inspired by God, but he have a special gift. He have a golden hand. And then you follow a guy who said to you, when you go to the bathroom, you have to shake your penis three times. All the wisdom is written in the book of John is not good for you, but you accept the guy who says to you, Shaitan, he's peeping your nose and he play with your asshole. Excuse my language. I'm just saying it as it is. Shaitan rub himself around your penis. A prophet who said, don't ever curse the lice. Why we don't curse the lice? Because they wake up the prophet to pray. I mean, this is wisdom. The lice is a blessed animal because it wake up the prophet so he will not pray. I mean, he wants sleep. By the way, those who make donation for me, I'm thinking to send you rice in the Christmas, especially if you are a Muslim. If a Muslim, if, if, if Santa Claus was a Muslim, what he will bring the Muslims in their holiday? Lice? Have you ever heard of a God he blessed the lice because they wake up the prophets? <clears throat> Any Abdul? Actually, Muhammad, he claimed that prophet of God, prophet of God, they have a special, special attack from the lice because Allah, he do it to them. Have you ever heard of a prophet saying that? Any Muslim here, he said that it's not true.
Any Abdul? Who is here when I say that what I am saying is a lie? Christian Prince, you are a liar. Who want to call me and say that? Let me show you what Muhammad he said about the lies. Just for fun. And education. I entered upon the Prophet when he was suffering from fever. Guys, is the text clear? Now, what is the fever Muhammad is suffering from? Anyone knows why? What is the reason for the fever? Thank you for those who help us with the nation. We appreciate you and your help. I entered the Prophet. I entered upon the Prophet S A W B M Mercedes Benz when he was suffering from a fever. Okay, why Muhammad is suffering from fever? Let us see. I placed my hand on him and felt heat on my hand. Man, Muhammad is burning. Allah is not helping him. People they walk next to Jesus, they get healed. People they touch the clothes of Jesus, they get healed. Muhammad is sick. He's burning. And then with my hands from above the blanket, above the blanket still is so hot. Imagine if you touch his skin. I said, oh, Messenger of Allah, how hard it is for you. Look what Muhammad said. He said, we prophet like that or like that. The trial is multiplied for us. And so the reward. So Muhammad he is claiming that this is a trial. What? Why it is a trial? Any Abdul? Here in the hadith, it does not mention anything about uh, lies, but the fact it's about lies. Any Muslim want to challenge me about that? Huh? Is this hadith is about lies, uh, lies Muslims or not? Who is a Muslim? He have the courage to call me. Even Muhammad, he is saying here in the story that he is full of lies to the point it is killing him. He is dying literally. So we are not sure, by the way, that because the hadith says that Muhammad, he died because of poison. But it's possible. I'm trying to find the hadith in Arab in English so you can uh, show you the hadith in English. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let, let us see the hadith in, in Arabic then. If we cannot have it in English, what we can do? This is the hadith in Arabic. It says, Inna ma'asharul anbiya yudha'afu lana al-bala yudha'afu lana al-bala So we are, the, we are the kind of a prophet. This has happened only to prophet, brother. For us, trial is double, or let us say a lot more than others. Or let's say not uh, not uh, trial. It's like uh, problems or problems a lot bigger than normal people. You know, like uh, when God he he, he forced something on you, and Allah he double our wages. So they have double problems and double wages. And then he continues saying, "In kana nabiyyu min al anbiya li yabtali bil qamil hatta yaktalu li yabtala bil qamil." So when the prophet of one, 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 any of the prophet, he will be troubled with the lies until it is killing him. Until it's what? Until it's killing him. So Muhammad he claimed that the lies is too much in his body because this is Allah is doubling his wages. Any Muslim have a comment?
and you have dual this is all reference if you like to read reference you see it we are not making things up Tabaqatu ibn Sa'd, Muwatta Amalik, you name it, you know. And this is hadith, is a sahih, by the way. This is a book here, it's called uh, The Chain of Sahih Hadith. And this is a sahih hadith. It says here that this is a hadith which is sahih. Wahada is nadun sahih. Rijaluhu thiqat. The Prophet of Islam confirming that lies are sent by Allah as a test for the Prophets. Any Muslim have a comment? Do you really Muslims agree that Allah He tests you by the lies? I mean, this is, must be a special test. Who is a Muslim would like to give us a call? Anyone? Hello? By the way, I heard, I don't know if this is a rumor, that there is one of the lice who's still alive. She used to live in the panty of the Prophet. She is going to write her memory in a book. The name of the book is called Memory of the Lice and uh, in, in the, in the, in the Prophet Panty Lice. Oh, li li no. I don't know what the title is going to be. I'm not sure. Like the memory of a holy lice in the holy prophet panty. Yeah, because imagine this lice, how much memory she has. She lived there. I mean, she is first hand witness, my friend. Even the hadith says that Muhammad, he used to visit a woman and she, his job, he liked to sit in her lap. I don't know who she, and she, right away he sleep in her lap, and she start picking up lice from his head. Seemed like monkeys. If you type the word lice in the hadith, let us do that. Hmm? You will find that all the Muslims are full of lies. Do you see it? Allah Messenger saw him, i.e. cab, while the lice were falling on his face. Man, it's like raining cats and dogs. The difference between rain in England and rain in Mecca, that rain there is lice. This is how so clean they are. The Prophet come to me, uh, and the la 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 la, okay? And the bridge while lice were filling on my face, brother. He said to him, Are the lies of your head troubling you? <laughs> and then he said to him, Go slaughter a sheep and sacrifice. What does this have to do with how you can fight lies by slaughtering a sheep? You tell the guy, Go slaughter a sheep so you can get rid of the lies? Let it go, let it go. The Prophet came to me during the period of Al Hubaida, blah, 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 okay, and the lice was falling from my head. He said, Do you have a lice? I mean, he saw the lice falling from him, and you are asking him, Do the lice hurt you? What kind of a question is that? Shave your head and slaughter a sheep. So, Muhammad, he will eat the meat for free. You see, he ordered the guy, Okay, shave their head. This is a very normal practice. People, they do when you have a lice because it's very hard to get rid of it, especially if you don't have a medicine. Okay. But slaughter a sheep for what? To the lies or for the prophet? Narrated Anas Abu Abdul Rahman ibn Zawf ibn Zubair complained to the prophet, i.e., the lies cause itching. All of this is about lies. All of this.
look guys at this recipe how to fight lies Muhammad dr. Muhammad is telling you how to fight lies the Prophet commanded me when I was suffering from lies okay he commanded you what to shave my head and fast for three days or feed six persons <laughs> he knew that I did not have an animal the guy is poor you know the guy is obviously poor he have no money to sacrifice because Muhammad he like people sacrifice because when they sacrifice they give you the meat what kind of recipe is that? I mean, prescription of Dr. Muhammad. How we can fight lies. Kaab ibn, etc. narrated, I was carried to the Prophet, PBBUH, and lies were fading over my face. He said, I did not know that your disease is hurting you. Mm, Muhammad is thinking now as much as what I see Eww, man things are horrible can you sacrifice a sheep <laughs> the guy is dying because of the lies and Muhammad saying to him can you sacrifice a sheep that's it you sacrifice the sheep Muhammad he eat the barbecue the lies will go It's obvious, brother. If Zakir Naik here is with us and we ask him how to fight lies, what he would say? But the third, in the old day, brother, there was no doctor. Not like me now, I'm Dr. Dakin Naik. In the old day, if you have a problem, you try to find a solution locally. In the time of the Prophet Muhammad, he was the only doctor in the town. He got a degree in life. You have a problem with life, you go to the Prophet Muhammad. And the Prophet Muhammad, anyone, he come to him, he have a problem with life, he said to him, sacrifice an animal. If you don't have a big animal, he accepts it second. Even wings is fine. You have wings, I like wings. I mean, what is the solution with this? Sacrifice a sheep to fight lice? I'm truly convinced that this is the best doctor advice. Oh, all of this about lice. I mean, we just type the word lice and the lice is all over. Look, all of this is about lice. The whole town is full of lice. Let us change the topic. I mean, leave the lies alone. Do we have any Abdul? I don't talk about the ants because that will remind me of the ant who was speaking to the other ant in the Quran and the Muslim they say this is a miracle. Do you remember the story? Let me show you something. <clears throat> the Muslim they made a long article about this chapter. Chapter 27, verse number 18. Hatta ida atu ala wadi namli, kalat nemlaton, ya ayuha namlu ithulu, masakinakum. Okay, the Muslim they say here, look, here it says namla. Namla is a word as a female. Science, brother, discover, brother, that the one, the guardian for the security for the ants is a female. How Allah he knew it's a female? <laughs> now how a christian prince he can answer that how allah he knew that this is a female anybody can help me how he knew i mean this is science he said it says i i i have to agree it says in arabic namla namla is a female but the stupid abdu what they will not tell you that the word namla in arabic is a word we use for any ant as long as it is one have nothing to do if the ant have balls or not. <laughs> 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 
who is the Muslim wanna call me and tell me what we use for one singular ant in Arabic? All insect in Arabic they come like that. They're the same, most of them. Like as an example, Zubaba. Zubaba is a fly. Nobody check if they have testicles or not. We call them Zubaba. It's a female. Any fly we see, we call it Zubaba. Any ant we see, we call it we call it we call it Namla. So the Muslims they try to make a miracle of it, but this has nothing to do. This is Arabic language, which is this is how it is in Arabic. We use the same word for male or female, it doesn't matter. Any Muslim? You guys are laughing at my laugh? Okay, let me pray to Allah to make your laugh like me so people will laugh at your laugh like me. Thank you very much. I mean, come on, this is not even fair. Do we have any Abdul who want to tell us about this chapter? Suleiman, Suleiman, my friend, chapter 27, verse number 18. Suleiman, he went to the valley of the ants. Me till when he reach the valley of ants. The Muslims are debating about about Allah is one or not. He is the one, the, the, the one and the only one stupid in the world. I, I, I have to witness. Suleiman he arrived to the valley of the ants. There's a valley, it's called the valley of the ants. Hey, by the way, guys, if you go to your GPS system, you can search right now for the Valley of the Ants. And your GPS will take you there. It exists in Damascus in Syria, brother. He arrived to the Valley of the Ants? Are you saying there's only one place in the world there's ants? What, what the Valley of the Ants? Ah, this is the United States of America ants. And they have a blonde president. His name is a Trump ants. This is must be true, brother. A state of ants? A land of ants? A valley of ants? A mountain of ants? And in the valley of the ants, where Solomon was walking by the valley of the ants, brother, Solomon, he heard something. very very important one of the ants one of the ants guys one just one said enter your dwelling lest Solomon and his army crush you do you see it okay hold on hold on hold on hold on how many billion ants in the valley of ants yet only one of them she's talking <laughs> <laughs> Look like this is the end of the control. Mayday, mayday. An army of Solomon is coming. Hide or he will crush you. Mayday, mayday. Ant number one speaking. Ant number one. Bravo, bravo. Army, bravo, bravo. Bravo. Do you hear me? Ant, mayday, mayday, mayday. He heard one ant. What about the rest of the ants? This, this valley of ants have only one talking ants? And she is the only one said to oh, hold on there's something here guys it's fishy for me anyone notice with me something stupid there who noticed with me i want to know how in the world this ant was able to know the name of solomon okay okay i get the idea that the ant spoke and Suleiman he have a special feature he can understand the language of the ant how the ant she was able to know his name The ant, she said to the ants, hide, otherwise Solomon will destroy you, brother. Imagine Christian prince is going in the valley of the ant, and then the ant, she say, Christian prince is here, Christian prince is here, hide, he is going to challenge us to debate. He will crush you in the debate. Mayday, mayday. All of you hide, otherwise the Christian prince will challenge you and you will not be able to debate him. How she know my name? She's an ant. I will give you option. The ant she received a text message from somebody knows the name of Solomon. 
or the aunt she can read Hebrew and she saw the name of the King Suleiman in a sign or the aunt is a Jewish aunt and she read about Solomon in the Torah which one Muslims you accept hello yeah prophet and Ken you said right guys this aunt must be a prophet she prophesied his name mashallah this guy he's really good what's his name Ken Mac uh, Kar Ken. I mean come on make your name easier man how an Arab guy like me can read such a name can make can, give me a give me a week I will be able to read it I am illiterate like the Prophet peace upon him so now the end she told the other ants to hide and the the Prophet Solomon he smiled laughing at her speech but hold, hold, hold on what speech she, she was making a speech according to science women sorry women I was going to say women they don't talk unbelievable are you kidding me women they don't talk are you crazy or what I wanted to say ants don't talk I was going to say women women they will kill me if I say that are you crazy to say women they don't talk women they don't talk you're right so ants my friend they don't talk so how he heard her speech they are a mute unbelievable According to science, you see, all the creatures in this earth, they have a communication method. So we can say, like generally speaking, they talk, yeah, but the talk is different. Ants don't talk by tongue. He's Here it says he laughed at her speech, which means he heard in his ears, uh, uh, Solomon is what? Is a human. How he can receive a talk? By hearing it. Not from his nose, not from a smell. You have to hear it according to science ants they communicate either by chemical or vibration chemical or vibration okay vibration is not about the sound they feel their they feel it it's not a sound it might make sound by the way if you put like a very let us say sensitive microphone in in the in the colony you might hear a sound but this is not what we get for them this is not the communication this is a reason for the vibration so they feel the message by vibration like Morse you know Morse signal by the way uh, in case you do not know uh, we the Arab we are the first one who created Morse signal and this is a proving and then the the Western they stole uh, my grandfather who is an Arab he was in the bathroom and he put Morse a uh, machine on the window of the toilet seat and then there was a Jewish guy he was walking by and he stole it and then he sold it in America and this is a true story okay even Shakespeare who is the, 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 the Western they lie and they say his name is Shakespeare but his real name is Shakespeare he confirmed that story you can ask him you know How he heard her speech? Hello? Hello? You want to debate David Wood, don't you? Who dare to call me and debate me? Shouting, screaming, calling names, but you cannot answer. And you keep changing topics like a monkey. Who is the one? This is God? You believe in one God, but the one God, he says such a stupid story. And the guy is the funny, the funny. Allah, he taught Suleiman the language of the birds. <laughs> but yet he understand the language of the, <laughs> of the ants. Any Muslim can explain that to us. How Allah he taught him the language of the birds, yet he understand the language of the ants. Any Abdul? Hello? Maybe, maybe when Allah he taught uh, 
he taught him the language of the birds uh, maybe Solomon he went to the wrong classroom maybe like by mistake so he learned the language of the ants any Abdul Ah, somebody sending me here text message saying well how you explain the Quran explaining many uh, feminine what you call it like you know nature uh, things the Quran explained that uh, let me give me an example brother give me an example the one who takes me give me an example where Allah where the Quran explain those things where what the Quran explain what like what? Uh, let me. Okay, you don't want to give me. And I'm waiting for you. I don't give him anything. Let let me show you what Allah explained. How Allah explained things. Why the birds? I don't. We are talking about birds, right? We talk about birds that they are. Uh, uh, Allah He taught Sulaiman the language of the bird. Look what the Quran says. Why the birds don't fall down according to the Quran? Read with me carefully, brother. 1679 have they not seen the bird obedient in the mid air none hold them save Allah. <laughs> what is holding the birds from falling down in the ground science brother this is science. this is a pure 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 science not a pure pure this is a pure science we, we we Middle East and we go to the grocery we say to them do you have shampoo we don't say shampoo you know because if you say shampoo is obviously it's something different you have to say shampoo so is that science Allah is holding what is making the the bird flying that uh, because Allah is holding it from falling down and look what the Muslims to cover the ass of Allah look what they put between two bracket none gave them the ability to fly but Allah doesn't say that in the Quran where where do you get this is why they have it between two brackets yeah sadly we don't have P in Arabic what we should do you think the Quran he missed that do we have an Abdul guys how many of you download the videos I posted in uh, Facebook how many of you did download them? I, I posted two videos already, and there is one will be there later. Did any one of you download them and post them around? Nobody? Please download them. The link is down there in the info of the video. You can click and this is Christian Prince Facebook. Uh, you can download them and you can share them around. Let us expose those guys who they think they can refute us. You see, when when there is a debate between a Christian and a Muslim, don't take a side of a person. They take a side of the truth. Muslims, they do everything in the book of deception to lie to you. And let me tell you the idea of debating about the Trinity. Why the Muslims only they want to debate about the Trinity? They don't want to debate about the ethic of Islam, the ethic of Muhammad, the stupidity of the Quran, the mistakes in the Quran, all the garbage. They want to debate only about the Trinity. Because they say themselves, okay, well, we have, uh, you know, maybe we have a better stand from the Christians because we make it easier that God is one. That's it. You do not need to explain anything. But the fact the Quran make it clear that there is no oneness of God in the Quran. Yes, the Quran says one, but the Quran says Allah is one of many. Yes, the Quran says that Allah is one, but Allah, but the Quran says Allah is the best of the creators. The Quran is not created. The Abdul in the debate, he said, well, who told you that the Quran is eternal? Everything will be destroyed except the face of Allah. That means the shin of Allah will be destroyed too. And who and where do you get this? He said to him, Who is the scholar? He said that every scholar say that the Quran is eternal. Because if Allah did not create the Quran, it means the Quran is exist and have no time to exist. The verse he quote for us that 
everything in its face will be destroyed. He's talking about the, the earth. The verse he quotes for us is about the earth. But remember, Allah have a book with him, and he called it the protected book. So how it's a protected book, and yet he is going to destroy it. And if we ask the Muslims, why Allah have a protected book anyway, if he's going to destroy it? This book for what? Allah have a memory of a man? This guy, uh, Miss Tax, why he don't call me? Miss Tax, are you there? The one who who was uh, teaching uh, uh, Kalam yesterday what to say. Why you don't call me, my friend? Trust me, I have no problem with you. I will I will receive your call. I will be happy to talk to you. Call me, call me. Let us see how smart you are. Do you like to call? I will give you an ant as a gift if you call me. Hello? We will give an ant for every Muslim who call us. We cannot afford to give you lies. By the way, in uh, in uh, Imarat, there's a shop. In I'm, I'm serious, you can search it in the news. There's a shop, they sell lice. And it's expensive. Why? Because they are saying that as long as the prophet, he used to have a lice, and he, wa he was blessed with that. And even they claim that the prophet was really healthy because he have a lot of lies. So now the Muslims are buying lies to follow the prophet's step, which is really nice. Let me see if I can find the, the, the news. I read this a long time ago, but I don't know. I don't remember the title. Uh, <clears throat> Here we go. In Dubai, the price, it says here that this uh, material is old, like the news. The price of uh, lice in Dubai is 14 dirham. I don't know how much 14 dirham is equal to dollar. I'm not, see? Every lice, the price for it is 14 dirham. MashaAllah, alhamdulillah. That's amazing. Any Abdul? If you need lice, brother, you can go to Dubai in Emirat. It's very much available. Hmm? And look, uh, how how much fourteen dirham in the in the currency of uh, Emirat? Anyone can uh, convert three dollars? Three dollars for a lice? This is cheap, my brother. Because let me tell you what you can do. If you are smart. You can bring two lice, one is male and one female, and make them fall in love, like put for them flowers around, and uh, like, uh, you know, perfume, turn the light off, and let them have sex, brother. In the morning, you wake up in the morning, you find like a 1,000 lice in your head, and then you take them, and you can sell them back. That's amazing. 1,000 lice can be created within a week. And then you sell every lice for $3. That's a great guys. I, sorry, I have to go. I have to. Uh, I have to create as many lies as I can. I mean, I'm not making. Poor me. I'm trying to have a better income, and now I just now I found how I can make it. It's very easy, you know. You can get like brother, brother. You can get like a dirty panty or dirty underwear of your mother-in-law, and you place the end there, the end, you know, the lies, and that's it. You, you leave them alone for like, you know, just put them for some food, like boogers, etc. You come back a week after and you will find a lot of lies there. Just be sure, brother, that you bring two lies who they are in love together, which means they like to have a lot of sex. That is not lies? What do you mean that's not lies? It's lies. Uh, maybe I should go there and open a store for lice. Any Abdul? My friend, a kinsman, this is not a lice, this is a scorpion, is it?
I, I don't know. Uh, hold on. Uh, I think lice is uh, no. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Oh, see, lice. Yeah, al is a lice. Yeah, I'm right. This is how it's translated in English. You see it? This is what we're talking about. Qamil. It's a lice. But this is a holy lice. Okay. Which is really, I mean, makes sense. Even the prophet, by the way, uh, uh, he he forbid the, the the Muslims from cursing the fleas or the lies. Okay, the one who is asking uh, uh, in in Facebook, there's a low quality. Uh, uh, what I will do, uh, I will load it in different website or maybe in Google Drive, and I will let you know later. All right, so you can download it. All right, but the problem I don't have really time. Like I mean, I spend yesterday I was up until like five a.m. in the morning, or even six a.m. in the morning. I slept only a few hours. Do we have any Abdul? Anyway, guys, it's really getting late here, and uh, not really late, but I mean we are here for already for a few hours, and we have a good time with the Abdul. You know, at least if there is any Muslim would like to call us before we go. Any Muslims? Hey, by the way, I might go now and visit the valley of the ants. And I, if I take selfie with the ants, I will let you know. All right. This is Quran. This is this is you know. Think about it. God is telling us the God who created the galaxies. You know how many galaxies there is. He is saying to us, brother. Suleiman was walking in the valley of the ants, and one of the ants she said to the other ants, Hey, otherwise, he would crush you. This is God. This is my grandmother telling me a fairy tale story before I go to sleep. And even if I was a kid, I would not even believe it. Once I was like trying to be a smart guy, and I spoke to a girl, she's like six years old. And I told her about the flying broom, you know, that the witch, they fly with it. And she said to me, I'm not stupid. This is not real. Six, seven years old. She made fun of me. Very embarrassing, brother. I thought like I'm speaking to her like a kid now. Like, you know, I said, basically, she liked those things. We talk about them. But she said to me, this is, this is, not, this is not true. There's nothing like that. Your God is very convincing. <laughs> Unbelievable. Very beautiful. I mean, all right. What we can say, what we can say. All right, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And please give give your support to, to, uh, to David Wood. He do his part, and you do yours. Uh, those Muslims, they are very well-trained people of mockery. And this is why they fear me. Because they target people who they are polite, nice, and let us say maybe they will not go down to a certain level. Same time, they target people who don't speak Arabic. So they can play the game of mockery if you don't know Arabic. But the fact they are the one who do not know Arabic. And they are the one who say stupid stuff. So support him, and he did good. He did not do bad at all. It is them who lie openly about everything he said. Now, every one of us, he have his own way to explain things. And all of us, we have our own, let us say, uh, experience on life. Uh, and even to explain things, the guy is doing what he can. The Muslims, they are doing what they can too. And in every answer they gave to David Wood, they got themselves busted without knowing. And that's why I say, 
David Wood, maybe someday think that David Wood did not do good. I believe he did a great because if not him, I will not have those videos getting this Abdul busted. So I want to say thank you for David Wood and we pray for him and his family and may the Lord bless him. And by the way, sometimes people they think that I, I maybe I don't favor David Wood. This is not true. But for me, if you say something wrong, I'm, I'm, I'm against the wrong you say. You know what I mean? It's not about a person. It doesn't matter who you are. If you say Allah is a great, uh, 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 Allah Akbar means God is great, uh, this is wrong. I have to say, if you say to me that the word Allah is diverted from the word Al-Ilah, this is wrong. Have nothing to do with the person. All right? So, you know, uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, support whoever fight the cult of Islam. And if you think you cannot, you know, like you cannot help uh, two people who support Islam, please support David Wood, don't support me. And that go to anyone, or Sam Shamoon. I really appreciate anyone who stand against this cult. Don't support me, support them. Don't subscribe to me, subscribe to them. Go and give them nice and good blessing and give them a hug and show them that you stand with them. We are fighting the devil, not a blood and flesh. Our fight is not against a human being. We don't hate Muslims and we will never hate them. Satan, he tried to make us hate them, but we will not. We are not fighting the Muslims. Muslims are victims of this stupid cult. Our duty is to save them, not to hate them. All right. So thank you very much, guys, for being here. May the Lord love you and keep you in peace with your family and keep you in good health and wealth. And until we see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is a Friday, so mostly I would do live broadcast too. Until I see you tomorrow, Christ is Lord and Islam is false. See you soon again soon. Bye-bye. Take care.